American Comics, Psychiatrist, Cut Who Wonder Gwen, Author, Simple One, 026. Take Tony by the way, punch in after get off work, although I want to talk about the formula again. But Tony was still not in it for the money, instead, I can eat such egg fried rice every day. It's the same as when he just came back from Afghanistan and went to buy a hamburger, just a bite. But this time there is no way. So Yi chewed slowly and finished the egg fried rice in his mouth, then looked at Tony and shook his head and said, No, nothing. Tony was taken aback for a moment, it can't be that there is no recipe. Yes, so Yi nodded, I really don't have this one, you just think I made it myself. It's still limited, it'll be gone after you eat it! Exclamation mark. Tony stared, and covered his forehead with one hand and said in pain, Oh no, this is the saddest news I've heard this year, good guy. In other words, bad news for Avengers is not bad news for you, is it? But Su Yi then ignored him and ate his own. But Tony just looked at Su Yi. The egg fried rice in front of him. Keep watching. It's like seeing a beautiful woman. This frightened Su Yi to finish eating quickly. I'm afraid that Tony will say, Give me what you have left. But the next moment, Tony thought about it and said again, Okay, after listening, Sue, do you have any more egg fried rice, just like that? I still want to eat a plate, how about a plate of 10,000 yuan? After eating, Su Yi cleaned up the plates and put them aside. Then he picked up the paper towel on the table, wiped his mouth and shook his head. Let's talk about it next time. It's already afternoon now, and there are still three and a half hours before I get off work. Time is running out. Let's get down to business first. Heard the words. Tony sighed sadly. Egg fried rice is gone. My egg fried rice. Why is that food more delicious than the hamburger at the door? Damn it. Will eating hamburgers lose your appetite after eating egg fried rice? Shouldn't it? That's all. In Tony's heartless but responsible state. So ye helped Tony with the last two questions. That is to say, 20% of it is for himself and 40% is for curiosity, definitely, as a final question, but it is indeed the easiest for Su Yi to enlighten, the third is for myself, what is that to discuss, Su Yi said in one sentence, eat well, sleep well, work hard to improve, either die after spending all the money, or die without leaving any regrets, other deaths are not worth it, Tony listened, it is understood, because this sentence is the same as the way to deal with the Avengers alliance, can't rush, want a person, a group changes immediately, that's unless something big happens, otherwise, don't bother, so Tony is enlightened, he nodded and said that he was ready to go back and develop the upgrade armor to deal with future threats, that's right, finally, the fourth question, that is Tony's curiosity about Su Yi, this problem is the one that Su Yi solves the fastest, after all, there is nothing to say, besides, Su Yi didn't plan to say anything to Tony, and he said it before, just an ordinary psychiatrist with some special features, all right, after listening to Su Yi's guidance, Tony straightened his suit, stood up and extended his hand in thanks, anyway, your words have relaxed my spirit a lot, you may not know, I had a fight with the captain of the United States last night, yes, that told we I deadpan, it also put me under a lot of mental pressure, and at the same time I hated him very much, but from you, I seem to know what to do, hear Tony's answer, Su Yi also nodded in satisfaction, but after seeing that Tony's outstretched hand was the one wiping his mouth, Su Yi just stretched out the opposite hand, Tony came to his senses, he could only cough and cough, and changed his hand to hold Su Yi, at last, he puts on sunglasses, with a very confident attitude, he walked to the door and opened the door to say goodbye, the money for psychological counseling will be transferred to your card later, but before that, Tony glanced away, he looked at the refrigerator in the corner behind Su Yi, there is iced milk tea in it, so, Tony came to the refrigerator, opened it, took two bottles of milk tea and explained while running, you know, I value employees, so one bottle is for my assistant Pepper and one bottle is for my driver Happy, it's not like I want to drink two more bottles, finished, Tony pressed the handle with his hand, opened the door with his foot hook, and went out and said, that's it, goodbye, Su Yi, he really doesn't understand, why is a superhero so neurotic in reality, and it will be very serious for a while, after a while, I was very nervous again, all right, this may be the charm of Tony Stark, wait until Tony is gone, immediately, a six-figure sum of money arrived in Su Yi's account, in fact, Su Yi's psychological counseling is not that expensive, but Tony is happy, Su Yi looked at the time, it was 4.45 p.m., you can clock out of get off work immediately, dot, 027, Gwen invited to perform, Wanda invites the ferris wheel, what a wonderful thing it is to get off work, think about it, there is nothing to do after get off work, just eat and play, play and sleep, provided that, no one bothers you during those last hours of get off work, but Su Yi was not so lucky, Tony had been gone for about 15 minutes, branches, accompanied by the wooden door was slowly pushed open, Gwen was carrying a blue backpack with two drumsticks inserted in it, and only one head poked out to look at Su Yi, Su Yi was amused by her little probe, Gwen, don't say that you are here to enlighten, Gwen shook her head, I'm not directing today, I'm here to invite you to watch our band's music performance in the afternoon, musical performance, yes, 
Gwen is still a drummer now, so Gwen invites a little shyly now. Sue, would you like to come? Facing the girl's shy invitation. This is equivalent to the band blowing the horn of attack. You can go, but, but, Gwen was a little nervous. But you have to wait for me to get off work. So you looked at his watch and smiled at Gwen. There are less than ten minutes. Gwen breathed a sigh of relief. At the same time, she knew that she was tempted to give Su Yi a blank look. The girl's eyes are very tasteful. Su Yi first went to the refrigerator to get iced milk tea, and gave Gwen and himself a cup each. Then tidy things up. The time is one to five in the afternoon. Cack, lock the door. Check in. Check in successfully. Obtain, Phoenix Force Fragment X3. Here the rewards for punching cards. Su Yi who closed the door remained unchanged, but he was already thinking quickly in his heart. He only got one shard when he opened it initially. But now I have signed in three shards at once. Why? Because it is close to the timeline of the universe? Or is it close to the protagonists of the time of the universe? Let's not talk about this first. There is another problem. How many Phoenix Force fragments are there now? So you knew. The Phoenix Force in its almighty state even reaches super multi-universe level, even close to almighty universe level, can directly challenge the court of life. But the Phoenix Force under the debris is very vague. The first is how many fragments it is divided into. So Yi felt the changes in his body. After the three new fragments have been absorbed, So Yi instantly used purification to eliminate the remaining Phoenix Will fragments. Then he feels the change. So Yi, who originally possessed a single shard, was above the sub-parent level. Now add three more shards. After reaching four shards, So Yi felt that the energy and state in his body had surpassed level Godfather and approached level single universe. What are the concepts of Subfather, Heavenly Father? and level single universe, Thanos without any gems is the sub-parent, and Odin is the level godfather, level single universe, only after possessing and fully familiarizing with the power of infinite gems, or the god group, all of them are level single universes, and now that Su Yi has obtained four fragments, he already feels that he has surpassed the level godfather, especially the control of energy, Su Yi felt that he could destroy the entire earth at once, feel the ability now because of phoenix force, telepathy, teleportation, infinite energy, mass energy conversion, material reorganization, void creation, creation, manipulation, destruction of all time and space, space stasis, time stagnation, absorption, transformation, release of any energy and so on, fierce, very fierce, very fierce, after feeling the improvement of ability, so Yi followed Gwen downstairs to watch the band perform, ability, just enough, still a little girly, but Su Yi just followed Gwen downstairs, ding tilde, with the opening of the elevator door, Su Yi was stunned, Gwen was also taken aback, Wanda, Su Yi's voice was heard, Wanda, who originally lowered her head not to be noticed, raised her head in an instant, he saw Su Yi who was in the elevator with Gwen, anyway, the two got out of the elevator first, and Su Yi's eyes lit up when he saw Wanda's clothes today, at the moment Wanda is not like the village girl she wore yesterday, today's Wanda is wearing a combination of knee length tube skirt, stockings and boots, and a dark red windbreak along to the calf, coupled with Wanda's combed hair and three-dimensional Yuji's facial features, it is simply beautiful, if Gwen's fresh, lively, sweet and delicious type, then Wanda is definitely mellow, flavorful, and juicy, Wanda, what are you, need some guidance, no, Wanda shook her head, she looked down nervously to see if the clothes fit, then look at the time and say, I know you get off work at five o'clock, so I want to take the initiative to come to you, and finish watching the ferris wheel that I didn't finish last night. When saying this sentence, Wanda exudes a mature flavor all over, and I really want to let people have a big mouthful. As for Gwen next to see, oh, just a little girl. Wanda didn't care at all. What is lively and cute is not worth mentioning in front of sexy. Dot. Oh two eight. Gwen's band performance. Wanda's ferris wheel. Two beauties, one big and one small. Although the scenery is beautiful very beautiful, it is even one of Su Yi's favorite scenery, but the problem is, Wanda's Ferris Wheel or Gwen's band performance, which do you choose, if Gwen comes first, so that's all for Wanda, number, but if it is paired with Wanda to make a Ferris Wheel, and what about Gwen's band performance, so that's all for Gwen, certainly not, so what to do, Su Yi thinks quickly with a brain of level single universe, then draw a conclusion in 0.01 seconds, first, Wanda's Ferris Wheel is only at night, and Gwen's band performance is in the afternoon, so, the two can come together, only children and choose. Adults want it all. But how do you want them all? Then this will test the charm of language. Cough cough. After knowing that Wanda came to find me to play on the ferris wheel, Su Yi took this opportunity to reach out his hand to signal Gwen beside him and said, Wanda, this is a high school student time at a medical exchange. Not only did she intern at Osborne Industries, also a drummer in a band. She came to invite me to watch their band perform this time. Do you want to go together? After the band's performance in the afternoon, you can go to the Ferris wheel to see the night view of New York just in the evening. So Yi's words, let two file-size beauties look at each other together. After they looked at each other together, finally, we introduced ourselves together again. Then on Su Yi's question, Gwen is sure to be fine. Although she felt a crisis in wonder, 
the more people who can go to see the band's performance, the better. And Wanda thought about it too. If you don't agree, then there is no play today. But she chose clothes for a long time before she came out today. Besides, Wanda has no reason not to go. So Wanda nodded and readily agreed with Su Yi's statement. No problem. Let's go to the band's performance first. Very good. Schedule it well. Then Su Yi looked at the lineup of three people. One big and one small plus himself. Threesome. His Ferrari can't sit down. Supercars are all two-seaters. What if there are no four-seaters? Call another car. Gwen, is the band far away? So you should ask Gwen first. Gwen shook her head. It's not far. It's near the Riverside Park opposite Central Park. We'll be there in a short walk. That's good. If it's just so close, then there's no need to take a taxi or drive again. Because it is very congested. But having said that, Su Yi still looked at Wanda again. Wanda, you, I'm fine. Wanda stared at Su Yi, smiled and shook her head. After what happened yesterday, the night has passed, and I no longer care about other people's stares. Right. If only Wanda cared, then she wouldn't come to find herself dressed like this today. What are you waiting for? Let's go. So Su Yi waved his hand, the big beauty followed by the left hand, and the little beauty followed the right hand, moving towards the direction of the band's performance. Walking on the streets of Manhadu, on both sides are various luxury stores, electronic product stores, gift and souvenir stores, food and drink stores and so on. So Yi just took three bottles of milk tea, so now it's just a bottle for each person walking on the road and drinking while walking. And in the densely populated areas of New York, it wasn't long before Wanda left just like that. Sure enough, he was recognized. Scarlet Witch. It's Scarlet Witch. Goddess. My Goddess. Where is it? Where is it? Why can't I see it? Tell me a location. Scarlet Witch is following a man. They drank the same drink together. I don't know who started the chatter. People around me know what they didn't know before. Then they all started looking around to see where Wanda was. So Yi was speechless for a while. But after feeling that Wanda is still a little nervous, so Yi shook his head helplessly and put away the milk tea first. Then a beautiful woman in one hand. The wind is blowing. You can't be surrounded here. Otherwise, if the peripherals don't know why you surrounded them, they will also surround them. And then more and more. So Su Yi could only take people away quickly. After a while, Su Yi let out a sigh of relief after bringing the two of them to the band's performance location. Wonder, maybe you will still have a headache about being brought out in the future. And the difference is that it wasn't a good thing before. It's a good thing now but it's still going to be troublesome. When Wanda heard this, she had also encountered this kind of thing, so she could only ask Su Yi. Then what should I do? Two choices. Oh no, it's actually still one. Su Yi raised a finger. Your magic should be able to teleport, so you can use teleport to travel in the future. Or your magic should also be able to temporarily change your appearance, or make others cognitively ignorant of who you are. As I said, so after all, we have to start with magic. Wanda heard. Well, it seems that I need to practice more, but I don't know how to practice yet. Dot. 029 encounter mutation crisis again. Here comes Spider Gwen. This is indeed a problem. Wanda now has origin magic power free, but doesn't know how to train it. She has not received systematic training. So now she is like a child who owns a tiger tank, and can't drive it. There are two solutions to this problem. One is to go to Kamataj to learn from Ancient One. The second is to get the Dark God book early. As for the negative effects on the Dark God book, this is fine. So he has purification ability. It can even erase the will on the Phoenix fragment. So can't the negative effects on the dark book be purified? But these are the aftermath. At least now Su Yi doesn't have to do this for Wanda. Wanda would not accept such a big gift from Su Yi in vain. Talk about it later. Gwen, here. Come on. You are the only one left. At this time, Mary Jane Watson and Betty Brandt on the band stage. The members of Gwen's band, waved to come on when they saw Gwen. Because the band show is about to start. I have to go first. Su, help me get my bag. Give it to me. Gwen saw that everyone at the scene had come. She quickly handed the bag to Su Yi. Then he took out his drumsticks from the bag and went up to the stage from the side. Then sit in her drama seat. Boom boom boom. The accompaniment sounds. Gwen looked through the crowd. With Su Yi with her beautiful eyes. Su Yi smiled and nodded, giving encouragement. Wanda stood beside him, encouraging Gwen in the same way. Ting Tilda ended with the last accompaniment. The band starts to play. Gwen's bandmates start plucking fingers on guitar and bass. And Gwen herself was beating the various drumheads in front of her rhythmically one after another. Sounds good. It's not bad. The surround surrounding crowd commented after listening to the preceding paragraph. Then I started watching the band perform along with the music. Gwen and the others are performing a pure musical metal song this time. That is the high burning BGM that the public often hears. Bang bang bang. And Gwen's drum beat seems to be able to knock into the heart. Every time she hits the drums, the audience's body nods or shakes their legs to the beat of the drum. This kind of pure music that can move the body. That's good music. So Yi stretched out his hand and patted it to Gwen's drum. Wanda is by his side, leaning to the side and whispering. Although I don't understand, the music of the band is very good. It's fine as long as it sounds good. So Yi smiled in her ear, 
The purpose of music is to sound good. If it doesn't sound good, it's not good music. Wonder think about it. Yes, that's all. After the band's music spread, more and more people gathered in front of the stage. At first there were only 20 or 30 people. But now there are almost hundreds of people. The band members on the stage saw more and more audiences, and their mood and state became higher and higher. The sound of the music that came out became louder and louder. Time passed slowly. At 6.47 p.m., at the moment sunset ends and darkness begins. The band's show is coming to an end. Boom Tilda, with Gwen's final blow the show ends. Oh Tilda, pa 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 pa. Some of the audience applauded and some congratulated. Gwen and everyone thank you afterwards. She immediately came down from behind the stage and ran to Sue Yi's side, raised her delicate chin and asked, Sue, how is it going? The way Gwen is now, she's a pet that wants to be entertained. Very good. You, Artilda. Suddenly, a terrified cry came from nearby. Then came more shouts. Help. There are mutant mice. There are big lizards. There is a lizard just like a human. They're going to the bridge. With the cry of the crowd, Su Yi and Wanda turned around and saw the crowd running on the street. The audience in front of the stage also hurried away. After a while, the streets of New York seemed to be rioting. Gwen sighed. Why are they here again? Again? Su Yi smiled. Gwen immediately looked at the floor. Um, I mean they were on the news the other day. Crowds fled the streets. For a while. It was like a scene of fleeing, Su Yi sighed. He looked at Wanda who was calm but clutching his hand and asked, Want to stop it? Wanda didn't answer directly, I have ability, I met it, I can turn a blind eye, but I won't be able to sleep at night. This sentence made Su Yi amused. Laughter is heard. Wanda turned around and hit Su Yi angrily, and she meant that Su Yi understood. It's fine if you haven't met, but now that you've met, you can't get over your conscience if you don't do something. So Su Yi nodded, looked at Gwen first and said, Gwen, you go back first. Wanda and I will go and have a look. This sentence was said to Gwen on purpose. That would give Gwen time to leave. Then put on the spider suit and come over. So Gwen nodded obediently. Okay, I'll wait for you downstairs in your building. Come back soon. No problem. So Yi nodded. Then he rushed towards the scene of the incident with Wanda who was holding his hand. And Gwen before leaving. She looked at Wanda holding Su Yi's hand. She curled her lips playfully. Then leave quickly. Three minutes later, a figure jumped between the tall buildings. Spider Gwen is here tilde. Dot. Oh three oh. Wanda beats the lizardman. Gwen pulls the cart. Mum, my mother. Run. Everyone, run. Lizardman, what kind of monster is this? Facing the crowd fleeing in panic, Su Yi took Wanda upstream again. It's just that Su Yi's encouragement is not needed this time. Wanda followed Su Yi resolutely until the two came near the Manhattan Bridge. This bridge is a bridge connecting the island of Manhattan to the mainland. The other place that connects to the bridge is Queens. At the moment the crowd abandoned their cars and ran off the bridge. Su Yi and Wanda look towards the bridge. A lizard folk is wreaking havoc on the bridge. The tin car is as fragile as paper in front of it. The lizard raised a kick casually. Bang Tilda. The car in front of it slid out several meters like a person kicking a chair casually. Chirp Tilda. Car tires rubbed against the ground making an unpleasant sound. Ugh. The people inside screamed in horror. The lizardman paused when he heard the sound, then turned around and looked down through the car window. Ah. The people inside suddenly screamed even worse, and the lizardman smiled cruelly. It slammed into the car from the side. Boom. The whole car flew off the bridge immediately and fell towards the sea. The people inside screamed in despair. The lizardman turned around and left directly. But after two or three meters, there was still no sound of the car falling into the water below. Question mark. The lizardman wrinkled his face. It has just come to the edge of the fence to take a look. The result is the next moment. Boom. The car that just fell was actually wrapped in red energy. Then create a flight for the lizardman directly. Papa. So Yi applauded Wanda beside him when he saw it. Good. Yes, just now. It was Wanda's hand. After the car flew out, Wanda waved her hands. The red energy immediately enveloped the falling car. Then after seeing the lizard man walk to the edge of the fence, Wanda directly pulled the car towards the lizard man. Wait until the lizard man is created and flew. Wanda pulled the car in her hand again. Bang Tilda. Chirp Tilda. The car landed just under the bridge and stopped. See the people inside. Wanda is reaching out and tugging. Boom. Shape-shifting car. Doors ripped off by red energy. Mother. A boy about 12 years old ran out of it. My child. There just happened to be parents of children in the crowd. The two hugged each other after running. Well. So Yi nodded in satisfaction after seeing it. Standard American plot. But Wanda still deserves credit. Good job. Wanda, um, roar Tilda. Wanda just nodded, before the two had a poke or something. The roar of the lizardman came from the bridge. It stands on a truck and screams. It seems to be irritated. So you looked at it and analyzed it. When Wanda saw the appearance of the lizardman for the first time, she also felt a little hesitation. There are still people trapped on the bridge. I want to lure him down and fight again. It's a good idea. So you looked at the condition of the bridge, then looked at the time and said, if the bridge is damaged, the ferris wheel won't be able to go tonight. Exclamation mark. Wanda was stunned when she heard the last sentence. What? The bridge is broken, so the ferris wheel can't go? Exclamation mark. Absolutely not. You give me. 
calm down, suddenly, Zi Yi just finished saying that sentence, Wanda's angry voice came from beside him, this almost startled Zi Yi, he turned his head, Wanda has spread both hands, and her five fingers are just touching the chaos ability, directly controlling the ability to wrap the lizardman's body with energy and yank it. Hotilda, the lizard man who was still standing on the truck just now was stunned. It felt a powerful force trying to pull it away. It suddenly fluctuated around the cars around. Then he grabbed the pull of the bridge and didn't want to be caught. But if the mighty power of chaos force can really be brought into play, is it a joke? Calm down. Wanda saw that the lizard man was still persisting. She yelled, and waved her hands down. Rotilda, the lizard man slapped a car flying before being dragged away. Then he was dragged off the bridge by Wanda. Boom. Then hit the road hard. Even the road collapsed. Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, Superhero, destroy this lizardman, destroy this ugly guy. The surrounding crowd gave cheers, but someone found out, just above the bridge, the car that was shot by the lizardman is teetering on the edge, and it is about to fall into the sea. Look at the car on the bridge, it's going to fall into the ocean. What should I do? There seems to be someone in the car. He opened the window and waved. It's a child. Hear voices. So you look towards the bridge. One car was indeed about to fall into the sea. Wanda reached out to pull the car back with energy. Raw Tilda. But the lizardman at the moment crawled out of the pit. What should we do now? Which should be dealt with first? That's what's on everyone's mind right now. But the reality is that there is no choice. PSST. As the cobweb flicks over people's heads. Spider Gwen darts through the sky quickly then leaps onto the bridge. It's Miss Spider. She also solved the crisis with Scarlet Witch before. Dot. Oh three one. Wanda is angry. Iron Man is here again. In the sound of people's surprise, Gwen leapt onto the bridge of the bridge. Then the moment the car fell, Gwen stood on top of the bridge and sprayed the cobweb down with both hands. PSST. Two cobwebs tied up the car that had just fallen. Then Gwen pulled hard, wrapped the back end cobweb round the bridge first. Then Gwen slid down the cobweb again, came to the front of the car, grabbed the door with one hand, and reached out to the little girl in the car with the other. Give me your hand and I'll take you out. The little girl in the car saw that it was Gwen. She was afraid of the surrounding environment and refused to reach out. It was only later that he was induced by Gwen's nice voice. At first glance, the distance is enough. Gwen didn't care. She grabbed the clothes on the back of the little girl, and quickly pulled them out. As soon as she stretched her legs, she jumped back to the bridge with the little girl. Part R. After putting the little girl who was still blindfolded on the ground, Gwen clapped her hands and said to the little girl again, Go and find mum, sister. I'm going to help. P.S.S.D. Tilda. Finished. Gwen shoots the cobweb sticking to the bridge. Then continue to fly to where Suyi and Scarlet Witch are. Only the little girl from just now was left standing still. What just happened? Why do I feel someone lift my back? And then onto the bridge? Where's mum? Where is my mother? Dot. At the same time, after Gwen goes to save the car, Wanda turned her head, looked at the lizard man and murmured as he stretched out his hand. If you break the bridge, I will turn you into a puddle of meat. Su Yi, what's wrong this is? My previous Wanda was not like this. Su Yi was shocked when he heard Wanda's mature and charming, but fierce voice. Wanda today, it's a little fierce. It was completely different from when I enlightened her that day. Literally two women when it comes to dealing with issues. And the next moment, buzz, with a scarlet magic ability gathered in the air, raw Tilda. The lizardman felt something was wrong. It immediately roared, picked up a stone and threw it at Wanda. Huge amounts of stone arced through the air. But Wanda's face was expressionless. She stretched out her left hand and shook it against the stone. Immediately, the stone with a diameter of half a meter stopped directly in the air. And Wanda looked at the stone. Look at the lizardman again, said directly and bluntly. Try your own attack. Finished. Wanda flicked her left hand. The stone that stopped in the air was thrown towards the lizard man. The speed at which the stone was smashed back was much much faster than when it was smashed back. When the lizardman saw that he couldn't hide, he immediately stretched out his hand to protect his chest. Boom. Along with the dull collision sound of stone and flesh sounded. SHH tilde. The lizardman flew upside down, then hit a wall and make a mark. Oh Su Yi enjoyed watching it very well, just like watching a movie from the first perspective. No. He is now the first person. And it's still there. He's right there with Scarlet Witch. Good. Very good. So you looked at the lizardman lying on the ground but gave Wanda a thumbs up, HMPH, Wanda snorted softly, but this is not for Su Yi, she is a groan of disdain for the lizard people, Wanda muttered to herself in a voice that only she could hear, dare to destroy Su and I's plan to see the ferris wheel, you don't regret dying, Su Yi, question mark, he heard all right, after all, they are above level godfather, and must be level single universe, his voice was still audible, but after discovering that Su Yi raised his eyebrows, Wanda blinked and asked, what's the matter? Su, so, it's nothing. Su so Yi took a breath and spread his hands. You continue to fight. The voice just fell. Gentlemen and ladies, is there anything Iron Man can help me with? Then came the voice of a coquettish bag. Tony was wearing several generations of his armor. I don't know, I forgot. It seems to be the armor of Mark 45, which is the armor set loaded with Friday. Tony from at the moment is also working on nanotechnology, so that suit has not been loaded on the plane yet. 
Tony presses the button, and the number 46 armor is automatically attached to the whole body. Boom. As Tony landed wearing armor number 45, he looked at the crowd, Wanda, Su Yi. Then he looked at the lizardman behind him and Gwen who was coming. Tony finally looked at Su Yi and asked, Already solved? You're late. The matter has almost been settled. Su Yi put his arms around his arms and asked suspiciously, Isn't it that you came here to claim credit? Tony was about to explain, but Su Yi smiled and said the next moment, Just kidding, you didn't come in person, so you should be here to investigate. Huh? Wanda was taken aback, Tony didn't come. Pat Tilda. At this time, the face of battle frame number 45 opened. Sure enough, there was just empty space inside. But no Tony himself, but Tony's own voice, and his usual hand gestures, came through the armor. Well. You are much smarter than Captain America, at least ten times smarter. I'm still in my villa in Los Angeles. Even if I fly from suborbital, it will take more than ten minutes. So I remotely controlled the armor in the Stark building after I got the news. That's the me you see now. Dot. Oh three two. New York's number one affectionate. Wanda has gone bad. Obviously. So Yi saw Tony's real situation at a glance. In Wanda's two-eyed star. So Yi put his hands in his pockets looked at the armor with his mask closed and continued. Then you should investigate quickly. This lizard was there a few days ago, and it still can't be dealt with. This is obviously a mutated gene. If someone can control the spread of the mutated gene, then your superhero will be sprayed until you retire. Tony's armor nodded. He meant the same thing. But before going to investigate, Tony walked up to Su Yi and whispered, I now suspect this is an Osborne group scandal. But it doesn't matter whether I am the strength of the Stark group or the status of Iron Man. It is not good for the Osborne group, so I need your help. Use the power of the third responsibility to solve this crisis. Well said. Tony means, the Osborne group is huge. Although Tony can kill it, but no matter what he does, it will make the dangerous building of Avengers even more shaky. In case of falling time, it will be put on the back of the pot again. Then the Avengers are finished. So Tony wants someone else to sort this out. But among the people Tony knew had ability, they weren't Avengers yet. Only Su Yi and that lady spider. So Tony wanted Su Yi to help. Well said. Su Yi nodded. The analysis is good, it is indeed the best and safest way to do this. That's right. Tony folded his hands confidently. But the next moment. But why should I help you? I have neither ability nor benefits. Can't I even maintain my normal life from 9 to 5? What Su Yi said was supported by Wanda. She was also in a similar situation to Su Yi before. So after seeing that Su Yi didn't want to help, Wanda stood beside Su Yi and said to Tony, Story Stark, not everyone wants to be a superhero. Su just wants to live a normal life and work happily every day. So even if you want to find a third party, you should go to that Miss Spider instead of bothering Su. Finished. Wanda also pointed to Gwen. You had just arrived on the roof of a nearby building. Huh? Gwen was dumbfounded. Was she pointed at when she first arrived? Number. Could it be that something happened to her? Gwen took a moment to examine herself. No. Could it be that she helps the citizens and fights criminals? And with Wanda's finger, Gwen tensed up a little. She's mostly worried. Don't leave a bad impression on Su Yi with your spider Gwen image. Otherwise, how would she see Su Yi in the future? How can you use this identity to scare Su Yi? Tony controlled the iron armor to turn around. Gwen looked towards the roof and said, Hey Miss Spider. I think we need to talk. Anyway, Gwen shook her head immediately. No talking. Tony. Tony scratched his head in Los Angeles. New York Cyan Armor also scratched its head. He looked at Su Yi and asked, Now how to do? Su Yi spread his hands. How do I know? I'm a psychiatrist. I can only enlighten, not a liar. Then Tony can't help it. People don't talk. Did he force it? Wait. Force it? This seems to work. In the data collected on Friday, this spider lady is a righteous superhero. She will take the initiative to solve the crisis and fight criminals so she should help after hearing it. So Tony turned around, ready to speak directly. Listen, Spider. Tony turned around. Gwen is gone. There was no sign of Gwen on the original roof. Sir, she has already left. Called in for video on Friday. The final street footage shows Gwen swinging into an alley with a cobweb and disappearing. Tony. Tony looked back at Su Yi helplessly. Su Yi didn't speak. He just turned his head silently and stared at Wanda with New York's most affectionate A's, and Wanda's cheeks were reddened by Su Yi's look. She also couldn't help approaching Su Yi. Oh Kokok. Reluctantly, Tony controlled the iron armor and waved his hand. I'm going, I'm going, let's go, I'm leaving now. Yugi's continued to beat up that bastard lizard, and I'll continue to collect evidence of mutation. Then wait until the opportunity arises, and then reveal the evidence and let the Osborne group self-destruct. Okay, finished. Tony's hands were down and the four holes flew away with a spray. Then Su Yi turned his head to take a look. A furtive figure touched the seashore. After seeing Su Yi turn his head, it immediately jumped into the sea and ran away with a plop. Wanda, who just entered the state, immediately reacted. Damn it, let it go. It's okay. Su Yi patted Wanda's head. With your strength, meeting it later is as easy as crushing a reptile. Yeah. Wanda nodded. Then he suddenly reacted and took Su Yi's hand and ran away. Huh? Su Yi didn't know why. Come on, the bridge is fine. 
let's go to the ferris wheel. So you looked back at the building, but Gwen is still waiting for us under the building. It's okay, let's go for a lap first, and then come back and take Gwen to play the second lap. Is this okay? Let's say it was too difficult to beat the lizardman, and let it run away in the end. Dot. Wonder, you've turned bad. Dot. Oh three three. Sneak straight to the ferris wheel. Magic controls the driver. Now even Su Yi didn't think of it. Wanda actually wants to steal the fun behind Gwen's back. No, where did you learn it? Or did you realize it yourself? Su Yi severely condemned Wanda's behavior in his heart. But follow Wanda silently on the road. At the moment, Wanda was holding Su Yi's hand and running on the bridge where she just fought. The cars on both sides were scattered around. And Wanda used this strange and romantic scene to drag Su Yi from one end to the other. Then stop a car at the other end of the bridge. Wait Wanda. This is not a taxi. Seeing Wanda stop an ordinary car, Su Yi hurriedly persuaded him. Time is very urgent. Gwen found out when we got back late. We just need to give him some extra rice as compensation. Finished. Wanda waved her hand in front of the driver. Scarlet magical energy drilled into the driver's brain. Then the driver becomes holding the steering wheel and only looking at the road. Then Wanda hurriedly pulled Su Yi into the back seat and said to the driver, Go to the ferris wheel. The driver said nothing, just step on the gas pedal and go. So Yi was taken aback by this. You know these magics? These magics are spiritual magic. Wanda only interfered before, but now it's hypnotic ability control. The difficulty gap between the two is too great. The former is like letting you rub a fireball, but the latter is equivalent to letting you rub a fire dragon out. This difficulty is one day at a time. I am not sure as well. Wanda shook her head, looked at her hands, and then at Su Yi's eyes. I just want this, and I really want this. Then use your own magic ability and you're done. Su Yi, damn genius. Just know how to use ability. Besides ability, what else do you have? Isn't it the one with lordosis and back curl, sexy and hot, long legs and long hair? All right. Su Yi recognized it. Sure enough, emergency moments can always stimulate people's potential. It's just that emergency is a concept. How urgent it is depends on the person. But then again, seeing that the car is about to arrive. Su Yi was also curious why Wanda was in such a hurry today. Wanda, why are you in such a hurry today? As soon as this statement came out, Wanda explained with a sigh. Tomorrow night we will dispatch an overseas mission. Someone transforms the weapons left over from the Chaitori civilization and transports them to overseas battlefields. So we have to stop it. Steve was determined not to allow these weapons to enter the field. So what Wanda means is that she is going on a business trip. He didn't know how many days he would not see Su Yi in the future. Then she will come here immediately to make the agreement a few days ago. Otherwise, the next meeting will not know how many days later. But then again, Su Yi wanted to complain speechlessly. The foreign wars are all secretly provoked by the President of the United States. Domestic weapons are not subject to regulation. Now that the fights abroad are fierce, he wants to intervene again. At the end of the day, he just wants to play for as long as possible. Not that one side can crush the opponent and solve it quickly. Wanda nodded in agreement. So she didn't have any good feelings for this country, or the arms dealers and others, because Wanda's home was blown up by weapons. Her parents were also killed by the weapon. Her younger brother was also killed by the weapon. Her country was still destroyed by weapons. How does this make Wanda feel good about the United States? She doesn't even have a crush on Avengers. If you want to say it, say it more harshly. If Wanda had to choose between the Avengers Alliance and Su Yi, then Wanda chose Su Yi with great joy. It's not a multiple choice question at all. This is a sub question. That's all. Ten minutes later, the taxi drove to the vicinity of the Ferris wheel. Wanda quickly took out some rice dollars from her body and put them on the passenger seat. Su Yi added something after seeing it. Let's go. Wanda pulled Su Yi's hand excitedly. He will be back to normal after we leave. Let's go. Su Yi got out of the car with Wanda. Then he was dragged by Wanda and hurried to the bottom of the ferris wheel. And after the two left, the driver woke up immediately. He immediately checked the inside of the car, only to find a small stack of 100 yuan rice gold on the co-pilot. Wow. The driver happily picked up the rice gold and counted it. One, two, three, ten. Ten, one thousand dollars, one thousand dollars, my mum, my baby, our medical loan is up for one more renewal, our car doesn't need to be auctioned off, in the excitement of the driver, Wanda excitedly dragged Su Yi to the ticket station of the ferris wheel and asked, how much, we want two tickets, relative to Wanda's excitement, the conductor shook his head and said, today is maintenance day, the ferris wheel can only be opened, no people can sit on it, for a moment, Wanda's originally divine eyes became lifeless, a feeling of sadness and loneliness welled up in her heart, Su Yi felt this emotion, he smiled and whispered in Wanda's ear, I have a way, Wanda, exclamation mark, dot, oh three four, ferris wheel fire, poor Gwen, a word from Su Yi, it made Wanda turn her head instantly, staring closely at Su Yi's eyes, there seemed to be two strands of love entangled between their eyes, you dot 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 ah, Su Yi just spoke, it was actively covered by the enthusiastic Wanda, Su Yi, question mark, 
What's the situation? It's the second time. Why is it passive every time? You like this. I also like cough cough cough. For a while, so ye hadn't finished speaking yet. The two of them started to fight each other and clicked their tongues, and this time it's different. Wanda took the initiative in front of several people. It's different from last time. She doesn't care if she is a superhero or not, or is he an Avenger's identity. At the moment, she wanted to be a girl in love, to taste that sweet love, and to ye's mouth, that's all. The two fought for a few seconds. TSK. So Yi pushed Wanda away first. There are too many people here. You are a superhero. I don't care. So Wanda's charming eyes contained spring rain. I'm just an ordinary person with a special ability. Good guy. You learnt it from me. That's what Su Yi said at the time. He said he was unique. She said she was special. Okay, let me tell you how to ride the Ferris wheel. Su Yi shaved Wanda's face with his hands. Then he leaned into Wanda's ear and said, Use your origin magic power and ask someone to open it for us. Wanda's eyes lit up, but she looked at the ferris wheel, and asked suspiciously. But they said the ferris wheel was under maintenance, and there was no one on it. No, they're making excuses. So he shook his head. Large equipment like a ferris wheel is required by law to be maintained every once in a while. But the time stipulated by the law is too short and the cost of multiple maintenance will be very expensive. So they use the maintenance period to keep people from sitting and pretend it's maintained. But in fact, their maintenance time is in the off-season, and they will never be maintained at this time. This is just to avoid the law. Here, Su Yi's explanation. Wanda suddenly realized. Damn it Wanda gritted her teeth and looked at the ferris wheel angrily, but Su Yi added again. Definitely, this has nothing to do with the underground staff, he's just following orders. So after we go up, you use magic to block the glass. Like my Ferrari window, you can only see from the inside to the outside. In this way, we can go up to play, and the employees below will not be fired innocently. After listening to Su Yi's words, Wanda nodded in agreement. But before using magic last time, Wanda held Su Yi's hand, stared closely at Su Yi's eyes and said, Su Yi, you are really nice, very nice. You know how to respect each other, even if it is an ordinary employee, you consider his consequences. That's why I like you. You are so fascinating. This is Wanda's heartfelt words. From the first time Wanda met Su Yi. Wanda has huge amounts of intimacy with Su Yi because of ability. Then start with various daily details. Let Wanda gradually fall in love with Su Yi. In the face of Wanda's almost confessional tone, Su Yi didn't run away like the male lead in Japanese manga, nor did he go up like the male lead in American comics. He reached out and stroked Wanda's cheek, and looked into Wanda's eyes and said slowly, Wanda, you're not like the rest of her. Other superheroes may have their own obsessions the one thing they care about the most. But you are different. You just want to be happy and live in peace and stability. That's why I like you. You live for yourself. After Su Yi finished speaking, both were silent for a while. But Wanda's eyes became more and more intoxicated. She pressed her cheek tightly against Su Yi's big hand and said, We are on the same page. This is also the beginning of my love for you. The voice just fell. Wanda isn't wasting time. She took Su Yi's hand and came to the staff. People just wanted to say something. Wanda stretched out her left hand and moved it in front of him. Scarlet origin magic power enters the person's brain. The next moment the staff opened the gate and said politely, Please come in. Wanda smiled and entered with Su Yi. The two then entered one of the cockpits of the ferris wheel. Wait until the door closes. Wanda tapped on the glass again. For a moment, the glass becomes one-way glass. You can only see the outside from the inside. But you can't see the inside from the outside. After doing all this, the ferris wheel started slowly. The two also rose slowly in the cockpit. At the moment is 8 o'clock in the evening in New York. The city is brightly lit. And as the ferris wheel rises, the vision of the two is constantly expanding. This ferris wheel can rise up to nearly 200 meters. It is the largest ferris wheel in New York. Wanda at the moment is also holding Su Yi's hand, sitting with Su Yi, looking at the night view of New York and the distant horizon. Watch and watch. The cockpit rose to almost the highest point. Wanda at the moment turned her head and looked at Su Yi's eyes, nose and lips. Su Yi knew, if he is still passive at this time, that's not really a man. So without saying a word, Su Yi stretched out his hand to support the back of Wanda's head, and pressed it forcefully. Oh Tilda, under the northern mansion at, at the moment. Gwen, why haven't they come back yet? Dot. Oh three five. The potential of origin magic power. Wanda's dual personality. At the moment's northern building is downstairs. Gwen had changed back to her previous clothes, and was waiting for Su Yi and Wanda to come back in the lounge. But Gwen counted the time. No, Gwen calculated in her heart. No matter how slow it is, Scarlet Witch's ability should come back. Gwen looks outside. There was no sign of Su Yi and Wanda coming back at all. Forget it, wait a little longer, you should be back soon. I do not know how long it has been. When Su Yi and the weak-legged Wanda came back, Gwen saw the two of them at a glance. She immediately rushed to the two of them with a small blue school bag and said, You are finally back. Let's go. Don't wait for the ferris wheel to close. Su Yi felt the mouth craving just now in the cockpit, and he nodded a little ashamedly. Well, let's go. At the same time, 
Tzu Yi told himself in his heart. Gwen, I will definitely make up for your whining in the future. And Wanda was content. She had a faint smile on her face all the time. He took the initiative to greet Gwen and said, Come on, the Ferris wheel is about to close, isn't it? Su, Tzu Yi nodded again while condemning himself in his heart. Yes, let's go. But in fact, whether the Ferris wheel is open or closed has nothing to do with others. Now Wanda can turn it on if it wants to. Close it if you want it. Damn Tilda. Su Yi's heart was condemning himself again. Good Wanda. Why did I bring her down? I didn't teach her much myself. But whatever. Half an hour later, the three of them came to the ferris wheel that Su Yi and Wanda had just sat on. Still the same. Still the previous method. While Wanda was secretly blinking at Su Yi, the three boarded the cockpit again. Wow. Gwen leaned against the window, looking at the night view of New York and sighing. It's so beautiful. Those who didn't know thought it was true. This ferris wheel is only 200 meters. But the buildings that Gwen has climbed are definitely more than 200 meters. But the specific reason is that the angle is different. The position and angle of this ferris wheel just watch the whole New York from a bystander's perspective, especially Manhattan. A crisscross grid map, while not practically efficient, is really nice visually. In addition, the Central Park is more than 10 kilometers long and several kilometers wide. Such a Manhattan looks like a neat and precise circuit board at high altitude, and then Central Park in the middle looks like a CPU. Very alike. But it's just as good looking. See you here. So Yi suddenly thought of something and asked Gwen with a smile. Gwen. How's your friend doing, huh? Uh, Gwen twitched her nervous toes all at once. She thought for a while, and then organized her words. Well, she's fine. She is slowly trying to get used to and get in touch with new things as you said, Su. So, I believe that she will be able to come out to meet people soon. Speaking of which, Gwen looked at Su Yi and said firmly, just a little while longer. She will definitely be willing to confess her affairs to all her friends. I promise. Well, this friend is quite real. But it was Su Yi who nodded and said with confidence. It seems that my method has helped your friend. It's fine, let your friends get familiar with it first. Don't worry. Listen to Su Yi's gentle words. Gwen's heart seemed to be melting. She nodded sweetly and shyly. Okay, I'll tell her, that's all. After the ferris wheel slowly completes a circle. In front of the glass, Gwen pointed to the ticket gate of the ferris wheel and said. It's Black Widow. From the looks of Su Yi and Wanda, it was indeed Natasha Romanoff. Oh no. After seeing Natasha Romanoff, Wanda looked at Su Yi sadly. I'm leaving. Tomorrow's task needs to be prepared in advance. It's okay. Su Yi patted Wanda's head and said with a smile, We will meet again in a few days. You can come to me again after you have no tasks. It's okay. And your magic can open space teleportation, or open the door of space. When you are good, no matter where you are, you can go wherever you want. As soon as this statement came out. Really? Wanda and Gwen both asked in surprise. Yes, I'm sure. Su Yi nodded. The power of magic is very powerful and Wanda's magic keeps up with the most powerful, so you want to believe in yourself, there's nothing you can't do. Wanda looked at her hands, she didn't expect that she was as powerful as Su Yi said, but anyway, Wanda felt more confident, I see, I will learn these abilities as soon as possible, with the cockpit door open, the three of Su Yi got off the ferris wheel and came to Natasha Romanoff, Natasha Romanoff watched the three of them play, she also apologized, sorry Wanda, but today's lizardman crisis has to be sorted out before night, so I have to come and find you in advance, anyway, I've done everything I need to do today. Wanda also nodded slightly satisfied, hugged Su Yi and said, while leaving directly, let's go, I don't want to waste time, good guy. Now even Su Yi felt Wanda's transformation in a second. In front of Su Yi just now, it's better to be a fangirl big brother. Now back to Avengers, it's the cruel Yuji talking about efficiency. Contrast. Dot. Oh three six. Gwen's house has a curfew. George's inquiry. Su Yi and Gwen watched Wanda leave. The two of them glanced at each other and sighed helplessly. Superhero is just that busy. You said something happened. It doesn't happen every day. But you said it's okay. You can't be free anyway. See you here. So Yi muttered to himself. Anyway, I'm not a superhero. I'm too busy and tired. Gwen thought about it after hearing it, and nodded. I don't want to be either. It feels like working part-time. If possible, I think it would be better to be a freelanced superhero. If you encounter criminals, you will attack them. And if you don't, you will live a normal life. Gwen was right. Su Yi stretched out his fist in agreement. Gwen also stretched out her hand and punched Su Yi. This means that the two have the same idea. But then again, Spider Gwen's character turned out to be really like this. Among all the versions of Spider Man, Spider Gwen is definitely the most homely and honest one. She handles things better, and the most sensible. That's why Gwen said just now that she doesn't want to be a professional superhero. Instead, I want to be a free superhero. That's great. Anyway, Su Yi's thoughts were similar to Gwen's. Professional, quit, out of interest, okay, no problem, done. That's the difference, Wanda pretty much thinks the same way. So the three are attracted to each other. So you looked at the time, it was half past nine in the evening. Only then did Su Yi think of something. He looked at Gwen and asked, Gwen, is there a curfew in your house? Gwen's family is fine. His father was the commissioner of the New York Police Department. So it's normal to have a curfew, Gwen, exclamation mark.
Gwen stared, responding immediately, he asked, what time is it, 9.30, it's over, Sue, I'll be home by 10 o'clock at the latest, the words just fell, Su Yi didn't say anything yet, Gwen held Su Yi's hand and said while running, let's go, really, Gwen does have a curfew, and because of his father's status, this curfew time may still be very strict, so Su Yi was dragged over by Wanda at 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening, now she was dragged back by Gwen at half past 9, what's the meaning, rocking back and forth, right? The two need to return from this area to another area within half an hour. Fortunately, Spider-Gwen doesn't live in the farthest Queen's area like her other Spider-Mans. Otherwise, I really can't make it back in half an hour, that's all. The two ran across the meadow and the street, stopped the taxi on the way, crossed the bridge and road. Finally at 9.55pm, the taxi stopped beside the road not far from Gwen's house. Su Yi dropped the money, take Gwen home quickly. Finally at 9.58, Sue, goodbye. Have a good dream tonight Tilda, sleep well Gwen. Su Yi also waved his hand and replied, also, your performance is very good. Hear the last sentence. Gwen almost jumped up for joy, full of joy. She blew a kiss to Su Yi from the air. Then he quickly took out the key from the bag, opened the door at the last minute and walked in. I'm back. No time out. Su Yi stood outside the house. After watching Gwen enter the door, he turned around to leave. Wait a minute, sir. I think we need to talk. At this time, a figure came out from the side door of Gwen's house and stopped Su Yi. Su Yi turned his head to look and found out. This is the commissioner of the Nipped, George Stacy, and called after Su Yi. George walked to Su Yi's side unhurriedly, first sized up Su Yi, and then nodded in satisfaction. He extended his hand slightly and gestured kindly. I think it might take a while. Maybe we can find a place to sit and talk. Su Yi first checked the time. 10.03. Time is enough. Let's talk. So Su Yi nodded turned around and signaled, let's go, that's all, the two men walked and chatted, heading for the nearest bar, sir, where did you meet my daughter Gwen, finish this sentence, George first apologized to Su Yi, sorry, I'm a police officer, so the way I speak may be a bit weird, George said only that he was a police officer, but he didn't say he was the director, so he really got to know the person who sent his daughter back first, and George has a great attitude, the way of speaking is also not bad, that's why Su Yi nodded, expressing that he was fine, so he was willing to chat with George. At a medical exchange meeting, your daughter was with a scientific research team, and we met there. As soon as this statement came out, George was overjoyed. At the medical exchange meeting, it means that Su Yi is a person related to medicine. It also means that her daughter doesn't know people who are neither good nor bad, or who don't do anything. At least a person with knowledge and ability. You must know that doctors in the United States are very popular, and any doctor is very popular. As long as you have ability, you are not afraid of having no future. So this makes George very satisfied. It turned out to be the medical exchange meeting. I heard that the famous surgeon Dr. Stephen Strange was also there, with a psychiatrist who doesn't know much, but is well known internally. It was a good medical exchange meeting, and all the people who went there were elites. Which team did you go with, sir? Su Yi. Dot. Oh three seven. George's shock. Are you Su Yi? Good question. Gwen's dad. You can't fix it for me. Su Yi thought for a while within 0.01 second. If he pretended to be 13 directly, maybe George would be completely speechless. He'd better let George find the problem straight away. Only in this way can a 13. And it can also make him appear unassuming. So Su Yi thought about it and said lightly, going with a friend. That's right. Stephen had been his friend. Su Yi was not wrong, nor was he talking nonsense. In that case, your friend should be pretty good too. George nodded in satisfaction again. Why? because those who go with the group and the instructor are all interns, or an assistant or something, but it's different for individuals to go, and I went with friends, this means that Su Yi is very likely to be a doctor, and his friend is a doctor too, that would be great, this shows that the daughter's friends are very good, doctor, that's no match for street kids fresh out of grad school in Queens, George didn't want his daughter to be friends with street kids, but a doctor's words, that's very okay, that's all, the two walked and chatted, George is getting more and more satisfied with Su Yi, it's almost like saying that you are my intended son-in-law, the two walked along the street, until you come across an oak bar, notice, the bars in the United States aren't all disco boggling, there are many kinds of bars here, for example, a whiskey bar only sells whiskey and ice water, the oak bar sells wine made in oak barrels, there are other bars of this kind, in short, there are many categories, and you can find them according to your own personality, and the bar where the two met, that is, the Suai decorations are all made of oak, and the interior is relatively quiet, with priority tunes playing on the radio. The two entered the bar. Since it was George who invited Su Yi to talk, George paid for the wine directly. Drink something, by the way, can you drink? Okay, it's just that I don't drink it often, just give me a cup with a lighter taste. Then have two glasses of lighter ones. After ordering drinks, after a while, 
two glasses of wine came up. But there are quite a lot of these glasses, so Yi saw that they were all large one liter wine glasses. The handle of the wine glass has to be held in the hand. Both raised their glasses and tasted it, and George was satisfied again. Just now Su Yi said that he doesn't drink much. That's right for George. The doctor is right not to drink much. George nodded in satisfaction, took a sip of wine and said openly, Honestly, I'm worried that Gwen's friends are not very good, but judging from the situation just now, I think you are very good. Su Yi also drank a cup, and returned to him lightly. Mr. George, Gwen is very smart. You don't have to make her think the same as when she was a child. When she grows up, she will have her own ideas. You need to guide her, not lead her. Su Yi's words made George's A's light up. Listen to this talk. This is simply what ordinary people can say. Yeah, you're quite right. So I didn't stop her from making friends, but I got to watch her not being promiscuous. Definitely I don't mean you. You know, I'm a police officer and I've seen too much darkness and chaos in society. So I pay more attention to my daughter's safety and future. So Yi took another sip of wine and nodded in agreement. I think you're right about that. Daughters should be raised well, and more attention should be paid to character and knowledge. That's what makes your daughter a good woman. I think you agreed and supported her to go to the medical exchange meeting. So Yi finished speaking. George just took a sip of his wine, but his heart was full of shock. He is now scoring higher and higher on Su Yi. Just now it was even higher. Su Yi's words let George know that Su Yi is not an ordinary person. Ordinary people or brats absolutely do not have such thoughts and words. He is a policeman. He's the head of the police station. He has met, talked with, and seen too many people's hearts. But there are very few people like Su Yi. This made George a little confused. Who is Su Yi? Yes, that's right. George came back to his senses, put down his glass and said, I want her to meet more and more powerful people at the exchange meeting. Speaking of which, George didn't want to be secretive either. He checked the time. It was almost 11 o'clock in the evening. No more Gwen's mother probably wouldn't let him in. So fortunately George asked directly. By the way, I don't know your name yet. Yi Su. After Su Yi finished speaking, she looked at George with a knowing smile and said, Didn't Gwen tell you? Etc. The moment I heard the name, George stared, and finally realized the Su that Gwen talked about at the dinner table. So this is the full name? The moment Su Yi's full name came out as the chief of the police station, George immediately knew that the Su that Gwen mentioned before was Su Yi. Damn it, I should have thought of it a long time ago. It's all because of the lizard man incident that keeps me busy. George cursed himself secretly. Then he suddenly realized the shock. So your friend is Stephen Strange. So you drank the last sip of wine in the glass and put the glass on the table. I went to the exchange meeting in his car that day. George! Exclamation mark. Dot. Oh three eight. Gossip with superhero. Crossbones event. Su Yi's last words. The George was severely damaged and sank directly. George recalled what he had just said on the road. Stephen, a top surgeon, and Su Yi, a top psychiatrist in the circle. Now he can't wait to turn into a hole in the ground. Then who knew that the Su that my daughter sometimes mentioned would be Su Yi? Although the words are the same, George never thought that his daughter would know Su Yi. It's as if your kid went out and picked up a piece of gold and came back. Can you believe she can pick it up? It turned out to be picked up. So this is the reason why George didn't think about it at all. But now I know. George was extremely happy inside. But the reality is a bit at a loss. Yes, he's a police chief. But in the United States, the authority of a top doctor is very high. And the relationship between this doctor and his daughter is not simple. Such two double body copies are stacked together. Buff is directly pulled to full. George didn't know what tone he should use for the conversation. Or what should we talk about next? No wonder just now. Relying on his intuition and feelings as a policeman, George felt that Su Yi was not easy. It turns out it's not that simple. So what are we talking about now? And the time was coming, and George had to go home. But now that we just met, it's not good to just say go home, right? This time, George had a headache. But Su Yi can perceive his inner feelings. And the wine is gone. Su Yi was also preparing to go home. So Su Yi looked at his watch, stood up and said, Mr. George, I have to go home too. It was a pleasure chatting with you. You are a qualified father. Gwen is so good. There must be your influence. Su Yi said so. George suddenly smiled embarrassedly. The corners of his mouth are all grinning. I tried my best to do what a father should do. You are also very good, Mr. Su. Gwen is lucky to have a friend like you. The two flattered each other. The gap between men disappeared in an instant. That's right. Men are like that. Finally, after shaking hands with Su Yi, George and Su Yi greeted each other and left. Seeing that Su Yi and his further left very well, Gwen on the roof immediately breathed a sigh of relief. Then she left quickly from the roof and got home one step ahead of George. Dot. The other side. After a crazy day, Su Yi finally returned to his room on the top floor of the northern building. Once inside, take off your shoes. Su Yi threw his head on the soft and spacious bed, and let out a long breath. Ha tilde. How to say, it's cool today. But also feeling a little inexplicably tired. Maybe it's because I'm tired. But no matter what, today's harvest is definitely a big drop. And tomorrow, another day full of hope. Dot.
The next day, as Su Yi continued to go to work, catch fish and leave work, it opened. Wanda goes to the country to perform the Crossbones mission. At the same time, because of the incident last night, the reputation of Wanda and Gwen has become very high in the society. But there is also a bit of gossip. Scarlet Witch fights the mutant Lizardmen again. The goddess violently cows each other. The Lizardmen escaped into the sea. Why did the mutant Lizardmen appear? Does Iron Man's halfway entry mean something to do with tech companies? Miss Spider saves several children. The bridge pulls up the car with bare hands. She is the real superhero. Who is he? Why go appear with Scarlet Witch and Miss Spider both times? Exclamation mark. Scarlet Witch and Miss Spider have a boyfriend. The two superheroes actually share the same boyfriend. Too envious. No, too sinful. That's all. What happened yesterday was a mess on the internet. Mainly Wanda and Gwen, followed by Iron Man and Lizardman. And he, ah. Uh, the incidental gossip, mainly there are everything uploaded online. Although some people are right, it seems a little strange. What shared boyfriend is too, all right. Anyway, it's entertainment news. Just say what you say. It's not bad news, or nasty news. Then it doesn't matter. But, Gwen seemed to be onto something. She's been driving around New York a few times lately, looking for and investigating something. So Yi felt this. But he will not take the initiative to meddle in other people's affairs. If Gwen encounters something, he will definitely come to him. In addition, Stephen is doing surgery. He's been very busy lately. The surgery schedule is already full. During the period, Stephen also called to complain that he was so tired that he was dying. Although the money is full of money, but the body and spirit are tired and need to be released. He also said that he can rest. He would take Su Yi to the track for racing, drifting and so on. Anyway, Su Yi has nothing to do. And I haven't tried drag racing. Su Yi also agreed. So Su Yi has been putting on a bad show these days. No. He has been fishing. It was four o'clock in the afternoon again. Hartilda. So Yi was still lying on the recliner and staring at the TV. If you have nothing to do, then play computer games, brush your phone and the like. Well, multitasking. At this time, suddenly, an international news was broadcast on TV. At 2.19 p.m. today, Avengers defeated the international arms trafficking terrorist organization, Crossbones, and all members of the terrorist organization were arrested. Among them the superhero, Scarlet Witch, who descended like a goddess in this mission using magic to single-handedly eradicate the most powerful force in the terrorist organization. Also saved civilians in multiple countries, including Wakanda. The strength of this terrorist organization is... Dot. This incident was identified as... Lagos Incident... Dot. 039. Wanda's terrifying power. Wanda's popularity soars. See the news on the newscast. This was expected by Su Yi with a little surprise. Expected because it was something he knew would happen. And in the plot, this is where Scarlet Witch Wanda accidentally wounded civilians and Wakanda. This matter was very serious at the time. So serious that this is the trigger to promote the Sokovia agreement. But now, this incident was actually solved perfectly. And the one who solved it was Wanda. In the segment of the TV excerpt, Wanda is a goddess with an expression like an iceberg. She waved her hands. Enemy jeeps and trucks were pinned in place in an instant. Then Wanda shook it with one hand. The selected screen is gone. Don't imagine. The people in there are absolutely miserable. Wanda's origin magic power grip can easily crush the rats into a bloody mist. Even if you change trucks now, you hear the clanging in the background and you know that the opposite side is all sent. So Yi nodded in satisfaction. Wanda has grown up. She has grown from a woman who doesn't want to use magic to a ruthless scarlet goddess in her public persona. And this is her work surface. Not her everyday face. So, Wanda is pretty interesting. Dot. At the same time, the scene of the incident in Lagos. After the incident was resolved, the Avengers were resting nearby and preparing to evacuate. Captain America looked at the report and nodded in satisfaction. Everyone has done a very good job. All weapons have been retrieved and prepared for centralized destruction. You are all superheroes. You are all excellent. Clap clap Tilda. The scene applauded. Wanda stood aside, looking in the direction of New York lost in thought. Wait until the applause is over. Wanda turned around and asked Captain America lightly. When are we going back? The scene became silent. Everyone gave Wanda a lot of respect this time. You must know that in the personal performance just now, Wanda has both hands. One hand crushed the jeep. One hand crushed the truck. This terrifying combat power made everyone think. Has Wanda's destructive power surpassed that of the disappearing Hulk and her performance? It also made Wanda win everyone's recognition and respect. I'll probably go back tonight. Wanda. Captain America finished speaking with a smile. While holding the report, Wanda nodded and walked to the side to sit down and rest. After seeing a world map next to it, Wanda also picked it up to find her own location, and then found New York's location to check the distance. Thousands of kilometers. Wanda sighed inwardly. She really wants to learn the teleportation magic that Su Yi said at this moment. Then now, immediately, immediately return to New York to live with Su Yi. Too bad she can't. Have to wait until night to go back. Wanda. At this time, Natasha Romanoff walked over from the side. She came to Wanda, took out a tissue and said, There's a drop of blood next to your face. 
Wipe it off. Wanda took the tissue. He picked up a piece of broken glass the size of a palm and looked at it. She had a drop of blood under her left cheek, and there was a blood stain running down the drain. But the blood stain not only didn't make Wanda ugly, on the contrary, this drop of blood makes Wanda more charming with Scarlet, like the blood at the corner of the Vampire Queen's mouth. Cacatilda. War reporters in the distance took pictures of Wanda wiping the blood stains with broken glass. Definitely, you don't have to worry about whether there will be any impact, because this war correspondent was arranged by the Avengers Alliance. Understand? Even if these photos and videos are uploaded or not, they have to be reviewed by the Avengers Alliance. And that picture of Wanda just now, as long as Wanda has no opinion, it will not affect the Avengers Alliance. Then you can upload. And in this battlefield shooting, Wanda's photos are definitely the most in the audience. So many wonderful places were captured. What everyone doesn't know is that after these photos are uploaded on the internet, Wanda's popularity will be greatly improved. Dot. New York History Stark Building While the Avengers Alliance tackles local issues, Tony also received news of their success. Sir, here is the information. After sorting out the materials on Friday, Tony couldn't help laughing when he saw it. So, they are the enemies that Scarlet Witch takes care of. But have they ever thought about going abroad to solve the crisis by force? Who do the locals think is destroying their homes? Tony smiled, and waved the digital data into the recycle bin. But Friday reminded, Sir, although Avengers will suffer criticism and opposition again, the popularity of superhero Scarlet Witch is increasing positively. On the internet in the United States, many citizens have suggested that Scarlet Witch should be separated from Avengers and become a free superhero. According to data collection, the popularity of Scarlet Witch has far surpassed other superheroes, closely following you and Captain America. If you continue to follow this growth rate, it is estimated that within one three years, you and Captain America will completely lose their popularity in society. Tony, huh? Exclamation mark. Dot. O four O. Sign into the Superman template. Tinder source. Godzilla. Just said Captain America. The Winter Soldier Ben. Now it's Tony's turn to confuse himself. How long has it been since I and Captain America have both debuted? As a result, a person who had just debuted was about to overtake him. Tony looked at Friday's list of data sheets. In the support list of all superheroes. First of all, he and Captain America are the tallest, there is no doubt about it. But underneath the two is Scarlet Witch, and Scarlet Witch far surpasses other superhero below. All right. Tony pinched the corners of his eyes and shook helplessly. What kind of psychological counseling? But also counseling her on the bright road. Forget it, I'd better upgrade the armor soon. There will be a breakthrough in nano armor technology soon. What has Tony been doing at home all this time? That definitely is studying nanotechnology too. Dot. The next day, when the morning sun shines on the earth, so ye hasn't woken up yet. When bustling commuters walk down the street munching on sandwiches and rushing to work, so ye still didn't get up, wait until the world has been running for a few hours, so ye finally woke up. Definitely he wasn't sleeping all the time either, it's just that he woke up, playing games on the bed and staying in bed, unwilling to get up, cough cough. But when the time came after 8.30, so ye wakes up, washes up, 8.40, shower, change, 8.50, going out, going downstairs. 8.55, come in, sit down, before 9 o'clock, look, it's on time, yes or no, it's just that I didn't eat, order a takeaway, anyway, what to eat is not to eat, so ye was fishing all morning, but a guest came in the afternoon, the guest talked about his heart disease, I am full of despair for this world, and feel that life is meaningless, but I am afraid of death, and the whole world is full of dangers, what should I do, so ye felt her heart, well, insecure, lonely, decadent, so his answer is also very simple, if you have money, Find something to do, such as buying a house on the side of the mountain to build a private refuge, and contact like-minded friends, or run around the world. There are many more dangerous places than this. Obviously the other party is a descendant of a rich man. It's just too boring and lonely. But the other party really planned to try what Su Yi said. That is, a refuge. But don't think that Su Yi is lying to the other party. Shelters are really made in the United States, and they are selling very hot. And don't you feel insecure? Not enough shelter? Dot. After the customer pays and leaves, so ye kept groping until the clock time in the afternoon. Cack, with the door closed, so ye said silently in his heart, punch the card, check in successfully, obtain, General Krypton Superman's a template. Kryptonian Superman, isn't that the regular version of Superman? The highest strength of the ordinary version of Superman can only reach below level single universe. It's hard to say whether you can beat level single universe, depends on the amount of energy absorbed. It's a pity that it's not a silver Superman. If it were a silver Superman, it would be multi-universe at the start. That day, the god group can be wiped out with a wave. The life court will give it a few big pockets when it sees it. But forget it, the regular version of Superman also enhanced Su Yi's physical ability a lot. At least Su Yi doesn't have to worry about assassins attacking him or something. After all, the physical strength of Superman's body is obvious to all. As for kryptonite and other side effects, 
just purify it. Speaking of which, Su Yi's previous check-in rewards were blocked by Su Yi. After all, it's not every day that you can punch in good things. So sometimes Su Yi would put it on and watch it together for a few days. This will be a little more refreshing. It's the same as drawing. Now let's take a look at what has been punched in the past few days. Su Yi looked at the rewards for checking in recently. Bonus, a full set of cartoons of Tom and Jerry. Reward, Planet Engine X100. Reward, Queen Medusa's Fierce Hood X1. Reward, Fire Seed Source X1. Reward, Singularity God's Illipet Cub X1. Su Yi. Grandmas, what are they? It's manga and anime. What is the use of the planet engine? Push the earth away. Then let Thanos look dumbfounded when he pulled. Thanos, what about earth? Exclamation mark. There is also the source of fire, which is interesting, but not very useful. But the most interesting estimate is the last one. Singularity God's Illa Pet Cub. Are there any living things? Singularity God's Illa Sui is a bit impressive. It seems to be one of the strongest versions of all Godzillas. Singularity God's Illa is immortal. Or it can also be called Cosmic Godzilla. Just like the singularity of the universe, it still has terrifying energy and various abilities after it grows. In simple terms, it's a bit like Celestials and Galactus. Well, since it is a pet. Keeping is also raising. Anyway, listen to yourself. So ye thought about it. Then throw it near the island country for development first, where there will be more nutrition. After the decision, snap tilde. So ye snapped his fingers. The next moment he appeared over the Pacific Ocean next to Fukushima. Phoenix Force can teleport space. This is very simple for Su Yi. As for why not fly with Superman ability. One word, lazy. Next, Su Yi wrapped himself with energy and sank into the ocean. Then take the Godzilla Cub out of the system. Hut Hilda. The moment the Godzilla Cub came out, a feminine humming sound appeared in Su Yi's mind. Su Yi looked at Godzilla's appearance, stroked its head and thought. Go, work hard, grow well. I will come back to see you every once in a while. When you grow up. Maybe you can grow bigger and smaller and tear apart the space to find me. Dot. 041. Stocking Godzilla. Create shapeshift in King Kong. After Su Yi finished speaking, he put Godzilla into the sea. The current Godzilla looks like the size of a calf. I really don't know how it grew to such a large size. Oh Tilda. But Su Yi just let go. Little Godzilla seemed to swim back desperately. He screamed and didn't want to leave. Su Yi smiled helplessly, but still patted his head. Little guy, New York can't support you anymore. You develop here first and I'll take you back when you grow up, or if you can grow bigger or smaller. You are here to cause harm first. No, you are here to grow up first, grow up quickly. Finished. So Yi suddenly remembered. Godzilla can absorb nuclear fusion energy to grow, right? And strictly speaking, as long as it is high energy matter, isn't the planet engine that Su Yi punched in the energy of nuclear fusion? It seems to be heavy nuclear fusion or something. Isn't this just enough for the little guy to eat? Okay, think here. Su Yi sank into the bottom of the sea first, then control the energy to create a stand on the ocean floor. Finally, take out the heavy nuclear fusion reactor in a planet engine. Actually, this reactor fuel is only 2 meters in diameter file size. Su Yi Long's protective position only needs to be 2 meters long. That way as long as Godzilla is near it, can absorb the energy in the reactor all the time. Okay, after the circular reactor was put into the stand by Su Yi, oh tilde, when the little guy saw it, he immediately lay comfortably on the nuclear fusion reactor ball. Su Yi finally touched the little guy's head and said, I'm leaving. I'll find time to see you later. Oh, listen to the clingy and pitiful voice of the little guy. Su Yi smiled. Crack. Then he snapped his fingers and left. Arrive home. Su Yi didn't expect that he could raise a Godzilla free range. And it is the top singularity Godzilla among Godzilla. Su Yi didn't know exactly how far it could grow. How about Su Yi getting five infinite gems and feeding them to Godzilla? Then it becomes infinite gems Godzilla? Wait until later. After finishing the Godzilla thing. Su Yi also remembered another thing he checked in. Fire seed source. The source of fire. How should I put it? It can turn machines with power sources into mechanical life. Yes, that is, the source of fire can make the machine produce a soul. But if you want a machine to be alive, the machine must have a source of power, such as engines, batteries, reactors, etc. So strictly speaking, Tinder is similar to Soul Gem, but the focus is quite different, etc. At this moment, Su Yi suddenly thought, since it can bring evolution to machines with power sources, will the planet engine work? The planet engine is mechanical and also has a source of power, just a little oversized, probably several thousand meters high. If this turns into a robot, isn't this bigger than some Pacific Rim mecha? But Su Yi thought about it. Never mind. Shaking his head, forget it for the time being. Let's not change the planet engine for now. This guy is too big to hold. Besides, whether it can become that big is still unknown. But first change my sports car. Speaking of which, Su Yi went out and went down to the underground garage by his own independent elevator. Then find your own car at the VIP position. Oh yes, and a camera. Crack. Su Yi snapped his fingers. Let the camera maintain a normal picture for half an hour. Then Su Yi took out the fire source. Next moment, a square special metal block appeared in Su Yi's hand. The moment the fire source appeared, take Su Yi as the center. 
the cars in the underground garage seemed to be boiling. But Su Yi just held the fire source, then lightly smacked the Ferrari's hood. Ting then put it on the hood and put it away. Next moment, a metal ripple spread from the fire source to the entire car. Then the entire car body began to appear waves of metal like waves. Su Yi took a few steps back. Ting Ting and Ferrari began to change towards the form of shape shift in King Kong. First, the wheels are attracted inward. The engine is tuned to the ribcage. The car door becomes a sharp knife on the arm. The drive it train returns to the legs. Just like that, under Su Yi's gaze, Ferrari turned into a shapeshift in King Kong with a height of 9 meters and a fiery red body like a phoenix. Kang Tilda, with shapeshift in King Kong's visor opens. It knelt on the ground, held the fire seed source in both hands and handed it to Su Yi respectfully and said in a deep voice, Thanks to the creator, the master gave me life. Su Yi took over the fire source, then throw it back into the system space. Call me boss, or boss from now on. The master is for the girl to call, not for you. Yes. Boss, shapeshifting King Kong still knelt on the ground and said, Please give me a title, boss, name. Ferrari's fiery red body is like flames. Anyway, there is no fire in this world. Su Yi Na Su Yi nodded and said directly, Heaven fire, receive. After taking the name, Su Yi walked to Tan Huo's side and looked at the details. And a very interesting point is, Tan Huo does not have the shapeshifting King Kong logo on his body. So it's neither Decepticons nor Autobots. But Su Yi found his name engraved on it again. Su Yi, I have to say that the lettering is really beautiful and Su Yi is very satisfied with it. This is your own exclusive shapeshifting King Kong. Rather than which faction? Which faction? Skyfire. It will only follow its own orders. Coax Tilda. Woo -oo -oo Tilda. With a roar of the engine sounded. A Ferrari that was taller, more handsome, and stronger than before drove out of the underground garage of the North Building and drove straight onto the highway. Dot. 042. Stephen was in a car accident. Show ability. Sit in the driver's seat of a sports car. Su Yi lightly tapped the accelerator, and the Ferrari immediately galloped like a wild horse running wild. Ha ha ha. This feeling of pushing back really made Su Yi very happy. It's not the same feeling as flying. This is a mount. Do you understand? Tan Hu Oh, how long does it take for your supercar form 0 hundred and 0 400 respectively? 0 100 and 0 400 meters refer to the time required to accelerate from a stationary start to a distance of 100 meters and 400 meters. So this time is definitely as short as possible. And Tan Hu answered immediately. 1.6 seconds versus 6.2 seconds. U U tilde, this data is too fierce. I'll try. Hearing this data, Su Yi drove into a highway with no speed limit without saying a word. Then step on the accelerator slowly. Feel the blazing speed. Woo tilde. In an instant, Su Yi's Ferrari is constantly accelerating on this unlimited speed highway. At the same time, a silver GTR is also testing its freshly tuned performance on the instrument of the GTR. As the owner stepped on the accelerator deeply, the hours are constantly climbing. This is so cool, the owner yelled. But the next moment, coax. After a crackling sound of hitting the wind appeared, GTR owners can only see a touch of red bodywork. Immediately afterwards, the owner of the car can only see the taillights of the other party. Water fake? Question mark. The owner looked down at the stopwatch. 321 kilometers per hour. He is running so fast. The other side also directly seconds himself. The opposite side must not exceed 400? Question mark. Mommy Falk. No, my car needs to be changed again, that's all. After making a random car owner cry, Su Yi got off the highway. Drive on seaside kilometers, at the moment it was getting late. Looking into the sea, I can't see very far. But a piece of news that appeared on the mobile phone attracted Su Yi's attention. The top surgeon in the whole meter, Dr. Stephen Strange, had a car accident last night. Strange woke up this night and said that his hands were injured, and he will not be a doctor in the future. Seeing this. Su Yi sighed slightly. What should come is still here. Stephen must have this calamity to become Sorcerer Supreme. As his friend, Su Yi would indeed feel a little uncomfortable. But although it can't help him directly, it can also help him indirectly. Tan Hu Oh, go to the best hospital in New York. On the highway, Ferrari automatically adjusted its direction and drove towards the best hospital in New York. Twenty minutes later, the Ferrari was parked downstairs at the hospital. Su Yi opened the car door and came out, and contacted someone who would allow him not to say unhindered but at least he could visit at will. Five minutes later, with a bang, the door opened. Su Yi walked in from the door. Stephen tied his hands to the fixed medical equipment, and looked towards Su Yi. Hiss. Seeing Su Yi coming, Stephen hissed in pain first. Then he said with a smile on his dull face, It's so fast, you came in half an hour after the news was released. But don't even think about going to experience racing with you. Stephen's hands were fixed on the medical equipment. Moreover, all ten fingers were firmly locked by bone nails fixes and other instruments. Stephen only has a little pain now, just because he just woke up and took morphine to deliver the news. Just wait until the morphine time is over. Stephen is a doctor. 
and he knows how much it hurts to wait. So Yi didn't say anything, just came to his bed and looked at Stephen and his battered hands. In the ward, it was eerily quiet for a while. Stephen could feel it. So Yi's silence is because he really cares about himself, not other meanings, and Su Yi could also feel Stephen's despair and pain. He's just under 30. The way of life has been cut off. This kind of despair about the future is really stressful. It's like someone is holding your heart. And Stephen is in this state. Hiss. At this time, Stephen took a breath. It's been more than half an hour. He knew that the working hours of the Max Morphine were coming to an end. Just wait another ten minutes. What greeted him was a heart-wrenching pain from ten fingers to the heart, and want to recover well in the future. He can no longer take any pain medication. Can only resist. Stephen knew what he was going to face later. Hatilda. He let out a long breath, and smiled at Su Yi one last time. Su, you go back. I can feel your heart. If you don't dislike it. I will come to play with you when I get better. I'm just useless, it's not that I don't have money. My money is enough for me to spend most of my life. Then we can continue to go out and have fun, right? Hear the words. So Yi nodded, then shook his head again. Huh? Stephen didn't understand what this meant. But the next moment, Su Yi stretched out his hand and placed it in the air above Stephen's hands. Under Stephen's shocked gaze, a golden red energy drilled into Stephen's hands. And Stephen could also feel that his fingers had become a little itchy and the pain had decreased a lot. After operation, Su Yi withdrew his hand, looked at Stephen at the moment's slightly confused eyes and said, the energy will help you get better sooner and with less pain. After speaking, Su Yi turned around and walked towards the door. Then turn around and leave. Just leave the last sentence. Come back to me when you're better. Dot. 043. Wen and the Lizardman fight. Shapeshifting King Kong is dispatched. Out the door of the hospital. Su Yi already knew that this ordinary world was gradually becoming irrelevant to him. Start here with Stephen. Although it only shows a little bit of ability, there is no turning back when this thing is opened. As long as there is one, there will be one. Dot two dot three dot four dot 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 blah blah blah. Only zero can be absolute zero. And now Su Yi is already one. But it's okay. Again, as long as you are strong enough. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it, and no one can force you. At this moment, Su Yi was in no mood to drive, so he directly let the Ferrari Sky Fire navigate directly to drive home by himself. Wait until the Ferrari enters the underground garage. Su Yi just opened the car door, just received another piece of news. An evil lizardman and an unknown scientific instrument appeared on the roof of the Osborne building. No superhero has appeared to stop it. The New York police have already dispatched. Please wait for the follow-up notice. Latest news. Miss Spider has arrived on the roof of the Osborne mansion to fight the lizardman. Cool. Seeing this news. Su Yi sighed. He knew what kind of gene diffuser Dr. Lizard made. So Gwen hasn't been here for a few days. They are investigating the matter of the Lizardman. Su Yi was not in a good mood today. Now I know my little Spider-Man is going to be beaten. Then Su Yi's mood must be even worse. Heaven fire. Su Yi put away his phone, shook his head and walked towards the elevator. Go chop it up. Yes, boss. The elevator door closed and Su Yi returned to his room. Then turn on the TV and watch the Osborne building live broadcast by the TV station from the helicopter. And the other side, in an empty car, Sky Fire unmannedly drives himself to the Osborne mansion. And the North building is not far from the Osborne building at all. It is about 10 kilometers. So in the city streets, a red super cannon is driving like a raging flame. At the same time, over the Osborne building, the lizard man opened its mouth and smiled at Spider Gwen. I've checked. Scarlet Witch and all the Avengers are out of the country and Iron Man is in another state. He won't be here for half an hour. And you, a bug, want to stop me now? Gwen is wearing a spider suit, standing on top of a condensation tank. Wearing a hood, she said with emotion. Mr. Lizardman, I have been waiting for you to appear for a long time. Question mark Dr. Lizard was taken aback. Why did you wait for him for so long? Didn't Gwen come to stop herself? Then Gwen said, if I tell Sue directly that I'm Miss Spider, all of this will make it appear that I have done nothing. I must have certain grades before I can appear in front of Sue with an open heart. Not an ordinary Gwen. He has Scarlet Witch, one of the superheroes, by his side. Gwen is not enough to watch. It must be Spider Gwen. Finished. In the astonishment of Dr. Lizard, Gwen actually preemptively shot the cobweb and kicked Dr. Lizard like a cannonball. Dr. Lizard didn't respond. He could only stretch out his hand in front of him. Bang Tilda, with feet and arms colliding, a dull voice sounded. Dr. Lizard took a few steps back and waved his hand violently, only to find that Gwen was missing. As a result, it turned around and found out Gwen is already on the way to sabotage the genetic modification transmitter. Bed bugs. Dr. Lizard roared, then hurried towards Gwen. Gwen, who arrived next to the launcher, discovered it. The end of the transmitter requires a password, or brute force the launcher. Without knowing the password, Gwen could only choose to use cobweb to pull the transmitter down the building, then ruin it. Bang tilde, bang tilde, bang tilde. But Dr. Lizard has come to Gwen. The huge slap came directly. Gwen lowered her head and pulled cobweb to hide in a hurry. Then he kicked hard on the machine next to him. Turning back is to whip Dr. Lizard's head. Boom. Dr. Lizard was raised for a fall. P-S-S-T-P-S-S-D-Tilda. Gwen quickly shot again, 
and the cobweb wrapped around Dr. Lizard, then run to the launcher and start moving. But the launcher is heavy. Gwen can only move a few centimeters per second, and the launcher must be at least a few meters away from the edge of the building. So this means that Gwen has to fight for at least two or three minutes to move. Ha, I'm sweating profusely today, Gwen complained. Then a slide evaded Dr. Lizard's grab, then shoot the cobweb to pull on a nearby mesh then swing itself up and kick towards Dr. Lizard. Obviously Spider-Gwen knows how to use acceleration better than other versions of Spider-Man. But Dr. Lizard's physical strength is not weak. Boom. Gwen kicked her feet faster and harder. As a result, Dr. Lizard fell to the ground. See here. Gwen sighed. You can't kill yourself, it's annoying. If Spider-Gwen's fangirl is here, it is estimated that a bunch of people will call me dead. I will die. I will die when they hear this sentence. It's a pity that the opposite is Dr. Lizard who is insane. Gwen watched Dr. Lizard stand up again clapped his hands, and sighed again. It seems that we have to find a way to beat you down first. But what if the launcher's time is almost over? Gwen has a headache. Woo -oo -oo tilde. But at this moment, the perfect sound of the supercar began to sound from afar. Gwen was taken aback. The sound of this car dot 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 why does it sound a bit like Sue's car? Dot. A 4-4. Shapeshift in King Kong debuts. Supercar vertical driving. Not a bit like it however, but it is. With the sound of the sports car approaching, Dr. Lizard didn't know who it was. So he moved forward quickly trying to knock down Gwen, and quickly fired the gene transmitter. Its big brown green hands swung suddenly. Gwen ducked without even looking at it. Are you still sneak attacking? After a few back jumps after Gwen leaned back, the distance was widened. She took the opportunity to come to the edge of the building and look down. As expected, a Ferrari as red as a phoenix is driving fast. It seems to be Sue's car. Gwen was overjoyed, but he was also worried about how he would protect Sue Yi when he came. Will he get hurt or something? What should I do? How can it be? Dr. Lizard was taken aback when he heard it. It quickly shook its head in denial. Scarlet Witch and Avengers are out of the country. There's no way they're coming. Gwen listened. You know that Dr. Lizard regards Su Yi as someone from Avengers. Because Su Yi was there the previous two times. Both superheroes obeyed Su Yian. That's why Dr. Lizard thinks so now. In this case, Gwen rolled her eyes. He stood up and said with a kimbo, You wait. Scarlet Witch will pop your head off later. How is it possible? Dr. Lizard was shocked. Impossible. They are all abroad. The afternoon news just came out. But Scarlet Witch knows magic. Gwen raised her chin and said, How can you know magic with your lizard brain? No. It's impossible. I heard the sound of a Ferrari getting closer. Dr. Lizard hurriedly ran to the edge of the building to check the situation. As soon as Gwen saw this, she quickly ran to the other side and continued to move the gene transmitter. And Dr. Lizard looked down. It really is that car. Oh no. No. I need to launch the device quickly. Be sure to launch the device before they arrive. Dr. Lizard hammered the floor. As a result, it turned its head. Where's Spider Gwen? Then it turns around again. We are moving the device. You bug. Gwen, who was moving the device, heard this, curled her mouth, and continued to move hard. You wait. It's not that Gwen didn't report, it's just that the time has not come. When I get this thing out of the way, I'll take care of you. Gwen gritted her teeth and moved. But Dr. Lizard has already rushed over. Gwen quickly looked behind her. There is still less than one meter away. Just give him ten more seconds to destroy this thing. But, it's still too late. Dr. Lizard has come to him waving his fists and big tail. Gwen could only dodge first and then speak. Wait until the distance is opened. Gwen looked up at the time on the transmitter. Only the last few minutes left. She still has to get entangled with Dr. Lizard before she can move. It's too late. Woo tilde. Woo, -woo tilde. At this time, with the sound of the car came downstairs. Suddenly, Ferrari's accelerator pedal increased sharply. Like a fighter jet engine. Really here? Gwen hurried to the edge of the building to check. As a result, a Ferrari actually drove 90 degrees off the ground on the wall of the building. Its vent is not venting now. It's breathing fire. And it also sprayed out the Mac ring. This caused the Ferrari to drive on the wall of the building 90 degrees off the ground. It's so handsome Tilda. Gwen has a file size mouth. She is now sure that this is Su Yi's car. But she really didn't expect this car to be so powerful. What kind of black technology is this? Su is coming? But is there any danger? And Dr. Lizard panicked when he heard the sound of a fighter jet engine from the supercar. It hurried to the edge of the building to have a look. I was startled at first, and then suddenly reacted and laughed. Bug. There's no one in the car. What are you expecting? Ah. Who can you rely on? A reminder from Dr. Lizard. Gwen looked at it again and was surprised to find out. There is no one in the car. For a while, Gwen was both happy and disappointed, etc. But Gwen suddenly reacted again. If there's no one in the car, how did the car come here? Dr. Lizard, wait a minute. My CPU is burned. Dr. Lizard looked down again. Ah yes, no one is driving the car, so how did you get here? Dr. Lizard was stunned. But before it figured it out, the sky fire of the building hundreds of meters high opened up in a few seconds. Wootilda. Between Gwen and Dr. Lizard, the fiery red Ferrari soared into the sky. Then in the shocked eyes of the two, sky fire began to transform in the air. Ting ding. Various mechanical modules began to change, and mechanical heads, engine chests, armors, engines, 
and long swords appeared one by one. Soon a shapeshifting King Kong appeared in the air and landed on the roof. Boom Tilda, rippling with the wind and waves, a shapeshifting King Kong with a height of more than nine meters and a red long sword on his waist stood there as if his whole body was exuding flames. Gwen is 1.7 meters and Drive Lizard is 2.6 meters. But they all had to look up to see Dan Huo's mechanical cheek clearly, and the TV station helicopter in the distance is going crazy after seeing this picture. Dot. 045. Tony's shock, Skyfire instantly kills the Lizardman. Latest news, latest news. A humanoid mecha appeared on top of the Osborne building. A humanoid mecha appeared on the top of the Osborne building. It's shape-shifting. It transforms from a car to a robot during the live stream. What is this? What is this? The TV guy roared from the helicopter. His excited voice was transmitted through the microphone to everyone who was watching the TV broadcast. The people who were watching the live broadcast were stunned. Originally, the lizard man and the spider lady were enough to hang. What is this big mesh? Exclamation mark. Tanhuo is more than 9 meters tall, standing on the roof of the building with its fiery red body and height. It is extremely eye-catching. Everyone is only qualified to look up to. In the northern building, Su Yi held the popcorn, watched the live broadcast and felt something was wrong while eating. It seems dot 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 it's really a bit ostentatious. But there is no turning back when you open the bow. Make it public. Anyway, very few people know who this car is. There are only a few people, and if you have been seen, then continue to pretend. But, in a beach house in Los Angeles, Tony didn't think so. At the moment he was developing the nano armor, and had reached a critical moment, and he couldn't spare himself to take care of other things. And he also reminded Friday, it's not something important. Don't bother yourself block any news. But at the moment, Friday is still a direct reminder. Sir, the latest technological products have appeared in New York City, I think you need to take a look. Puffing. Tony was taken aback by Friday's sudden sound. But after hearing that something really happened, Tony could only sigh. If only JARVIS was still around. When JARVIS reminds suddenly, it will automatically lower its voice, and then remind itself in a slow tone. Not like Friday like an emotionless frigid secretary. Well, Tony came to the computer. Reach out and wave your hand in the air to bring up the Friday reminder screen. One result screen. Tony opened his eyes, and immediately looked at it seriously. The scene in the picture is exactly the picture broadcast by the TV station. There's also footage from Tony's own satellite. Yes, Tony has his own satellite. It's like Musk's Starlink. But the most important thing right now, obviously, is that Tony has his eyes on shapeshifting King Kong. Skyfire. Tony watched Skyfire closely. Then control the road with your hands. Zoom in, zoom in again. The satellite starts zooming in on the picture. Tony watched Dan Huo's body and every detail closely. Then he shook his head and said, It doesn't make sense. This state cannot become a human form. Machinery may also change from a car to a life in this way. There must be other technologies. Is it nanotechnology? Tony was lost in thought. What the hell is this technology? Can Tan Huo change from a car into a humanoid mecha? Tony had already analyzed it in his head many times just now. He can be sure, Tan Huo's core technology is definitely different from his Mark Armor. And still totally different. The technology trees of the two are definitely two irrelevant paths. What kind of technology is that? Tony was lost in thought. Then start researching. Dot. At the same time, under the spotlight, Tan Huo didn't say a word. It doesn't even say hello. Pull out the long sword on the waist directly, then with all eyes on, pointing to Dr. Lizard. Wow Tilda. Gwen immediately understood, you are Sue's friend. Or did Sue ask you to come here? Tan Huo didn't return. Bang 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 Tilda. It directly raised the sword and walked towards Dr. Lizard. Two bugs. Dr. Lizard said a word. Then he waved his big fist and rushed to Tan Huo. But the next moment, boom, Tan Huo stepped up. Dr. Lizard flew back as he rushed up, and faster than coming. Finally, it hit the floor with a smack. Then Tan Huo continued to walk over. Get ready to kill Dr. Lizard. FK. Dr. Lizard struggled to get up, and then swear words. Just turn around and run. It's not stupid in this matter, either. It just knew it after trying it once. He is a mortal body, and it is acceptable to fight with Gwen who has just adapted to his body. But it is impossible to fight against the 9 meter high mesh in front of me. Only F King run, facing Dr. Lizard's U-turn and run. Gwen froze for a moment. Attitude changed so quickly. But what everyone didn't expect was, Skyfire is faster. Bake. Suddenly, Tan Huo's waist, legs and feet all ejected energy flames. And there are still Mac rings swaying behind. So at this very moment, the Skyfire instantly disappeared in place. Go straight to Dr. Lizard, and after hearing the voice behind him, Dr. Lizard's idea of climbing down suddenly changed to wanting to jump directly from the top of the building. But it just jumped up in the air, and it didn't wait for the weight to make it fall. PSST, PSST, Tan Huo came to the edge of the building in an instant. Swing the red long sword several meters long twice, left to right at a time, from top to bottom at once. Then Tan Huo withdrew his long sword, and Dr. Lizard fell from the sky above the building in four pieces up, down, left, and right. Even the head has become half left and half right. Impossible to revive again. Dot.
046. The owner of the car is Su Yi. Gwen arrives late at night. Wow. Gwen came to the edge of the building, looking at the quartered Dr. Lizard. He exclaimed. It seems that it is better to have a weapon. The fists and feet are indeed a bit too weak. Gwen nodded, and added another sentence to the falling corpse. Also, I am fragrant. Really? Su Yi can prove that Gwen is delicious. Don't care about deodorant or shower gel? It's fragrant anyway. Then, Gwen turned to look at Dan Hua who had put away his longsword and asked. Aren't you Sue's car? How did you go from a car to this? Facing Gwen's curiosity, Tan Hua won't say any extra nonsense. It simply replied. The task given to me by the boss is, kill it. Now that the task is complete, I'm leaving. Finished. Tan Hua grabbed the edge of the building with one hand. Then used the mechanical fingers to buckle in the wall and slide down. R. Gwen was taken aback. Boss, are you talking about Sue? Etc. Gwen lay on the edge of the building and looked down, wanting to ask. But she just made a sound. He saw two hot golden characters above Tan Huo's chest. They stand out so much against the red steel. And these two characters are exactly Su Yi. It's really Su. Very good. Gwen jumped up happily. This shows that Su Yi is not an ordinary person either. Then Su Yi being so low-key and unwilling to show his strength is the same as teaching himself. He just so wants to be a free superhero just like he taught himself. Not a professional superhero. What's this? Lead by example. Precepts and deeds. And Gwen also rest assured that she won't scare Su Yi when she tells Su Yi that she is Miss Spider. There will be no more scruples. That's why she yells so good. Correct. At this time, Gwen realized that the gene transmitter was still running. She hurried over to turn off the gene transmitter. And this time, Dr. Lizard didn't make trouble again. That's easy for Gwen. Crack Tilda. After finishing, Gwen clapped her hands in satisfaction. Go home Tilda. That's all. In the live broadcast of TV station, Gwen disappeared from everyone's sight after a few floats in the air. At this point, the incident is over, and after Gwen came home, she got into her room through the window, then humming a song, while thinking about when to meet Su Yi. Now that they have confessed indirectly, let's meet each other honestly, but when to go? Gwen leaned against the window looking at the moon in the sky. At this moment, a few words from Dr. Quarter Lizard came to her mind. Scarlet Witch is still abroad, and she won't be able to return until tomorrow or the day after tomorrow at the earliest. The Avengers are gone. Who can you rely on? That means, New York has only itself now. No Scarlet Witch? Yes. Gwen thought about it. Isn't it the best choice for me to go tonight? Think here. Gwen put on the hood, turned around and opened the window again. Then shoot cobweb straight to the top floor of Su Yi's northern building. Dot. At the same time, after seeing the resolution of the incident, Su Yi nodded in satisfaction, switched the TV to another channel and continued to play it. Yes, he wastes electricity, he likes to leave the TV on all the time. However, the task of Skyfire was completed very well. Not a word of nonsense throughout. Cut it when it arrives. Leave after chopping. Very nice. At this time, Dan Huo also drove into the underground garage of the North Building and parked it, then sent a message to Su Yi's cell phone. Boss. The mission has been completed. Su Yi nodded in satisfaction. Good job, I allow you to connect to the internet and get to know the world before receiving my order. Yes. Turn off the phone. Su Yi threw the phone on the bed. As for whether Tan Huo will become Ultron after contacting the internet, that is impossible. Because Su Yi is its creator. Shapeshifting King Kong is forever, absolutely, and infinitely loyal to the creator of the fire source. And Su Yi is. That's all. Su Yi took out a cup of milk tea and went to the floor to ceiling windows to enjoy the night view. Wanda should be back soon in a few days. I don't know what Wanda will eventually become after this period of tutoring. Su Yi knew. In the universe, no one is always the same. Wanda's personality will definitely change under her influence. Definitely will not be the kind of U-turn in place. Instead, drive toward the good. And with Wanda's current character, when she comes back, she will definitely come to find herself, and Su Yi has been bored for so long, he really likes to play with beauties, is there something wrong? Boom Tilda. At this time, the floor to ceiling window on Su Yi's right was knocked twice. He hasn't looked at it yet, but a smile has appeared on the corner of his mouth. Then Su Yi deliberately looked over, no one but looked back. Miss Spider was hanging a cobweb, and slid down in front of herself in an upside down manner. There is only a wall between the two, and look into each other's eyes. There is no need to look at the body shape, listen to the voice or speak. Just from these fiery and lively eyes, Su Yi knew that she was Gwen. Su Yi held the milk tea in his left hand. Gather energy in your right hand and write four letters on the glass. Gwen, as expected. See these four letters. Gwen, who was on the other side of the glass, was shocked. She reached out and took her off her headgear, revealing a flawless but excitedly rosy cheek, and that flowing beautiful blonde hair. Hello, Su, I'm your tutor, Spider Gwen. Dot. 047. The beautiful scenery of two people. Gwen wants a drink. New York. 10.30 in the evening, at the top of the North Tower in Manhattan, there are two people looking at each other through the glass, because Su Yi lives here, 
The glass on the top floor of the northern building has been remodeled, although usually floor-to-ceiling windows, but it is a combination of upper, middle and lower glass synthesis of strengthening glass. The middle piece of glass can be pushed aside as long as it is opened. So Su Yi looked at Gwen's face and blonde hair, and he reached out to open the glass in front of him. Hatilda. Suddenly a gust of wind rushed into the room. Gwen was hanging upside down in the air, and because of the wind blowing in, she leaned towards Su Yi. The two got closer and closer. You can even feel each other's breath. With the last bit of distance, he was assisted by the wind and pushed forward. Gwen closed her eyes. Um tilde. It was stuck together with Su Yi. First is stickers. Then contact each other at a negative distance. Gwen is standing upside down. Su Yi is standing. The two are bobbing in a pose that ordinary humans can't think of. And this is still hundreds of meters high. The difficulty is unprecedented among human beings. It is also possible that there will be no one to come. But don't worry about it. After the two bobbed for a long time, the wind gradually calmed down. Ah, I mean, as long as the wind has been blowing. The two of them have been bobbing for as long. With the breeze stopped, the two also gradually separated. Gwen's face was rosy, and she opened her watery eyes. So Yi took out another cup of milk tea out of thin air and laughed. Come in for a drink, snapped Tilda. Gwen couldn't wait to take the milk tea. Then he twisted his waist and rolled in. So Yi closed the window while marveling at Gwen's figure just now. But before he got to the guest seat, Gwen came to the wine rack first, eager to try, and said very firmly, I want to drink beer. Don't make trouble. So Yi sat on the chair, took some snacks and desserts from other places, and said, you drink when you're an adult. Very sorry. Gwen picked from the wine rack. I specifically found a bottle of wine with the highest alcohol concentration and picked it up. Then he took two big wine glasses and said to Su Yi wink. I just came of age last month. Su Yi, that's really drinkable. Think about it. Gwen is now a senior in high school. I will graduate in half a semester and go to college. At this age dot 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 you're really an adult. Did not lie to myself. But does anyone know the other meaning of Gwen? Su Yi knew. I, as an adult, can legally drink alcohol. Legally physically. All right. Watching Gwen eagerly put the two wine glasses away. Then he opened his six-figure bottle of wine and poured it in. Nothing to worry about. Anyway, Su Yi doesn't care about money. But, Su Yi looked at Gwen's figure in the spider battle suit and said, Are you going to wear it all the time? Definitely. After pouring the wine, Gwen put the rest aside, then took a seat and explained, I came over immediately after stopping the lizardman's genetic modification plan, and I didn't even return home. So I don't have any clothes to change. So that's it, finished. Gwen didn't ask anything. First raise the wine glass and signal to Su Yi. Cheers Tilda. Cheers. Su Yi reluctantly picked up the wine glass, but still asked with certainty. Are you sure you want to drink? This is the highest alcohol in my wine rack. Don't drink like a drunk spider. Yeah? Gwen looked at it knowingly. Then he deliberately couldn't find the degree and said, No mark. No mark means no degree. Su Yi. Oh dot zero. Walk slowly. You said. Cheers. Su Yi picked up the wine glass and slammed it with Gwen. Then drank half of it in one go. But he saw it when he looked up. Gwen took a swig. The wine in the wine glass was almost dazzled by her in one gulp. If someone who knows how to drink comes to see this, they will feel distressed. But for Su Yi and Gwen. Well it's just a prop. Money doesn't matter at all. Crack and after Gwen took a full sip, she slammed the glass down on the table, heart tilde, then he was so hot that he stuck out his little tongue in front of Su Yi, slightly slightly tilde, Su Yi couldn't help laughing, Gwen looked up, why do you drink so little, don't you feel spicy, get used to it, Su Yi picked up the wine glass and drank a little more, alcohol is to be drunk slowly, only a small drink is right, only beer is to be drunk in big gulps, Gwen doesn't care that much, she poured herself another glass, then he said to Su Yiman, then let's try beer next time, that's all, the two drank wine and chatted drunkenly. Su, what is that mecca? I'm curious. Gwen asked Pandan angrily, shapeshifting King Kong. Su Yi drank some wine and replied slightly drunk, I'll introduce you next time. It's a life and soul that can switch between a hypercar and a shapeshifting King Kong. Why Gwen's eyes were full of stars when he heard it. Then he moved the chair and wine glass to Su Yi's side, sat down and continued to ask, Su, you're not an ordinary person, are you? It turns out that everything you taught me is what you have personally experienced. I see, I will also be a free superhero like you. Life is the main job, superhero is just a side job Tilda, looking at Gwen who was drunk and raised his glass, Su Yi didn't explain either, just say, right, but the atmosphere is getting warmer and warmer under the drunken environment, dot, 048, pas de deux. Gwen sneaks away and wins big, well known, atmosphere is the foundation of all rhythm, advancement, without the right environment and atmosphere, it's like having a lighter with a crackling light but no gas. It doesn't burn at all. Can't play the fireworks of love. At the moment, the TV that had been on just now was relayed to the music program, and it happens to be a mildly romantic tune. This caused Su Yi to take another sip from Gwen's full wine glass. He just let it go. Gwen took his hand and stood up and said, Su, let's dance Tilda. Su Yi was pulled up by Gwen. He is 1.8 meters tall, 
and Gwen is 1.7 meters tall. Standing together is the best height. And Gwen took Su Yi's hand and turned it around. With Su Yi's palm, her flexible body turned many times, then fell into Su Yi's arms. A little dizzy, Gwen grumbled, but Su Yi gently stroked Gwen's face, put his arms around her curvy waist and said softly, It's okay, I'll take you with me. That's all. Accompanied by the romantic dance music of the TV station, the two danced beautifully, and with the physical contact, Gwen's cheeks became more and more rosy. At the same time, there are more and more threads in the eyes. Finally, under Gwen's intentional dancing and dancing, the two jumped onto the edge of the extremely soft bed. Finally, with a bang tilde, they were stacked and smashed on the velvet quilt. Gwen closed her eyes. So you looked down for cherries. The dance between the two did not end. It's just a continuation in another way. This dance is more lively. We'll make the queen bed creak. It will also shake the spirit of the dancer. But the dancing doesn't stop anyway. Dot. The next day, boom tilde, accompanied by a knock on the door. Gwen, if you don't go to bed, you'll be late for school. Gwen's mother reminded from outside the door. Ah dot 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 ah dot 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 I see. Get up now. Gwen woke up suddenly and she replied casually. Then he looked at the spider battle suit that had been torn into three holes at the end of the bed, and Su Yi's clothes and fell into deep thought. What happened last night? She went to Su, then Bobo, then drinking, then dancing, then. In the end, he and Su Yi took a shower together. Then I suddenly remembered that I have to go to school tomorrow. That's why she wore Su Yi's clothes and went home with her own battle damaged clothes. Um Tilda. Gwen blushed instantly. No wonder my legs and waist are so sore Tilda. However, very happy. Very excited. Return, forget it, hurry up and get up for school. Fortunately, Gwen's physical fitness is very good, even if it was the first time. He recovered almost overnight. She got up quickly and changed her clothes, then stuffed the new spider battle suit into the bag, then put the battle damaged spider battle suit and Su Yi's suit into the bag, and shot a cobweb to hang from the window. Finally, Gwen hurried out and said, I'm leaving, Mum. It's too late for breakfast, I'm on the way. After speaking, Gwen went out. Then go to the window and jump up to get the clothes off. The suit will have to be hidden first. I'll pick it up after school. Ten minutes later, after Gwen hid her clothes, she had already entered the campus with a blue school bag on her back. Gwen. Gwen's female classmate trotted over after spotting her. Then I was surprised to find out. Whoa. Gwen. Where did you get your grooming? What's wrong? Gwen asked puzzled. Your face. The female classmate asked very curiously. Your face is so tender. It's like it's filled with water. And your lips. As rosy as a natural strawberry color. I really want someone to take a bite. Gwen was startled when she heard that. She took the mirror handed over by her female classmate and looked at it. It turned out to be true. This face, these lips, these eyes. Wow Tilda. Gwen counts the time for her change. Don't think about it. It was last night. That is to say. Gwen smiled slightly, putting her tongue back at the corner of her mouth as she returned the mirror. Dot. At the same time, Avengers base. At the moment many superheroes just came back. Then get busy with meetings. In the conference seat, Captain America has just finished talking about what to do afterward. Then announced the dissolution of the rest. Wanda sat on the chair, frowning slightly. Natasha Romanoff came over and asked after seeing it. Wanda, what's the matter? Wanda shook her head. At the same time, I also felt that I looked at Natasha Romanoff inexplicably and explained. Ah, uh, it's fine. It just feels a little weird. But Wanda felt that the car was very familiar in his heart. However. The video quality obtained by everyone is very poor. Not many people know the make and model of that car. Although it is red, must it be a Ferrari? It's okay to watch Wanda. Natasha Romanoff nodded reassuringly. Then they went out with Wanda and went back to their rooms to rest. Dot. But at the moment Los Angeles, inside the seaside villa, Tony leaned back in the chair and stayed up all night. He was also lost in thought as he watched the shape-shifting King Kong on the virtual panel. What kind of technology is this? Tony didn't understand, and didn't understand. But he couldn't fall asleep like this. So he just sat here and thought about it all night, thinking of the dark circles under the A's and the messy hair. Sir, this is not human technology. At this moment, Friday, who finally finished analyzing, spoke out. According to the 10-hour scan and comparison of the human technology tree, the technology of the red mesh does not belong to any technology known to humans. Even if it is a breakthrough of black technology, it is impossible to develop this kind of mecha. After Tony listened, sighed. It seems that even if he is a genius, there are even more geniuses in this world. This technology Tony actually needs. But he couldn't figure it out just by looking at it. So, Tony decided to go the other way. Friday, who is the owner of this car who helped me find it? I want to visit it in person with full sincerity. Okay, sir. Oh, by the way, anonymously post all the information I prepared on the Osborne building on the internet. Okay, sir. Dot. 049. Achievement. Spider Rider, check in the system again. After the world revolves for a while, so ye just woke up. Ding Tilda. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the achievement. Spider Knight, Su Yi. Is that useful? Spider Knight, 
slightly increased check in rewards. Hiss Tilda. That's nice. Tzu Yi opened his eyes and rested for a while. After stretching on the big bed, he was refreshed, refreshed, happy, comfortable and so on. Then Tzu Yi's hand touched some fabric. Um, he sat up, picked it up and looked at it. Well, one piece of black fabric and two pieces of white fabric. It's kind of like the fabric on Gwen's spider suit, right? Whatever it is. Tzu Yi threw it casually, and directly annihilated it into nothingness with Phoenix Force. Then he saw again. The mattress looked like a post-World War map. Either that piece is damp, or this piece is still wet. TSK. Tzu Yi clicked his tongue slightly troubled. Looks like I'll either have to get an absorbent mattress in the future, or remember to use magic to deal with it. But Tzu Yi can only choose the latter now. Crack. Because Phoenix Force can reorganize or change the matter of the universe. So Tzu Yi snapped his fingers. The entire top floor of the Northern Tower has been given a new look. For example, my Zuzawa, littered clothes, traces on the sofa, garbage on the ground etc. All become clean with a snap of fingers. Good. Tzu Yi nodded in satisfaction. At the same time, I severely condemned myself in my heart. The two were so crazy last night. Tzu Yi originally wanted to be lighter, after all, Gwen still looks young, right? But who knows? Genetic mutation. After strengthening the body, Gwen is very beatable. Not only can she parry Tzu Yi's attack, he can still fight back and forth with Tzu Yi. This made Tzu Yi very angry. So he used the physical fitness brought by Superman's body to start a full-scale war with Gwen. And the final result? Then definitely he killed Gwen to the crap, throwing away his helmet and armor. Even the spider battle suit has become tattered, from brand new to war damaged version overnight. Cough cough. This was also the reason why Tzu Yi gave her a bath in the end. Gwen's legs went limp. Dot. The time came to 9 o'clock in the morning. Tzu Yi returned to the office on time and continued fishing. He doesn't even bother to order takeout. Just eat the egg fried rice or other food that you signed in before. Next, Tzu Yi turned on the projector to watch the news. The Avengers have returned to the base, but their actions are still being questioned. Will such a random departure and use of super abilities really make society safe? Last night's battle on the roof of the Osborne building is over. The mutant lizardman has been genetically collapsed and turned into a pool of liquid tissue. Miss Spider once again lifted the crisis. Citizens say, individual superheroes are far better than team superheroes. Large mecha warriors appear in New York. The combat power exploded. Maybe beyond Iron Man. But what exactly is it made of? Tony History Stark. Scarlet Witch war photos exposed. Townspeople call on Scarlet Witch to break free from the Avengers and team up with Miss Spider. Tony She Stark just said that last night. The mecha warrior was not created by him. He prefers to call it shapeshift in King Kong and hopes that its creator can contact himself. Good guy. Overnight, Tzu Yi turned on the news. The result is big hot spots everywhere. Avengers, Lizardman, Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, Spider Gwen, shapeshifting King Kong. It feels like the world is in turmoil. Moreover, the news of Steven's injury was suppressed and disappeared within a few hours after it was sent out. But it's also good. Steven at the moment should wish that fewer and fewer people knew about his current state. That way he can be quieter. Except better recovery. Afternoon. So Yi saw Tony's assistant on TV again. Definitely probably the chairman now. That is, Chile used a subsidiary of the Stark Group to acquire a wholly owned beverage company. The news tip is mainly that the subsidiary bought a site with a ready-made production line, because the name of the beverage company was directly changed after being acquired by a subsidiary of Stark Group. Change it to something milk tea. And Tony himself promises that it will be very tasty. Good guy. When Su Yi saw it, he called him a good guy. That's Tony's character. It looks very hanging and flamboyant, but it doesn't feel like a big brand. You must know that Tony said in front of the news interview that the hamburger in front of his house is super delicious, and he hoped everyone would try it. So it is normal to be able to say that milk tea is also super delicious, and that hamburger is really delicious. There are long queues every day, but milk tea is even better. So according to the milk tea recommended by Tony this time, this milk tea is really a hit. Maybe that subsidiary can be listed on the market by selling milk tea. The time came to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, cack, with the door closed. So Yi thought to himself, punch the card, check in successfully, obtain, Zodiac Charm, Valentine's Day Bracelet Grant, X2. This was originally a plot that I thought of on Valentine's Day, but I later found out that this is a saved manuscript. I wrote it and waited for it to be sent out. Exclamation mark. Valentine's Day bracelet giveaway. Tzu Yi smiled when he saw this note. Zodiac charm. Valentine's Day bracelet gift. It can be bound and worn without dropping the Zodiac charm bracelet, and no matter who the host gives it to, the same effect can be obtained. Dot. 050. The 12 charms bracelet. The return of wonder. All right. This thing can be changed right? And it's still a one-time punch out too. So Yi took it out and looked at it. It was a beautiful women's bracelet. There are only 12 pieces of the same file size on the bracelet, and they are extremely exquisite jewelry, which are 12 zodiac signs. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon. All in all it looks beautiful, only. This bracelet looks like it's for women, not suitable for men. Jewelry is too feminine. 
The man has a bit of a sissy, I have a Superman mod myself, and I don't need this thing at all. Moreover, it is also a gift item for a Valentine's Day bracelet, and after Su Yi gives it away, it will originally have the same ability. It doesn't matter whether you send one person or two people. Okay, Su Yi threw the jewels away and took them back, forget about giving them to Wanda and Gwen at that time. Strictly speaking, the attributes of the twelve spells are really suitable for the two women. Wanda is a magician with high offense and low defense. Gwen is considered a fighter with balanced attributes. Therefore, the power of life, the power of strength, the power of balance, the power of speed, the power of explosion, the power of invisibility, the power of healing, the power of spiritual body projection, the power of shape-shifting, the power of floating, and the power of immortality in the twelve spells both the power of laser and the power of laser can greatly enhance the overall abilities of the two women. The ability here is simply, figures can temporarily become real, enhance strength, yin and yang duplication and other abilities, etc. So Yi suddenly realized, the yin and yang duplication of the tiger talisman dot 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 is able to divide myself into two people. That Gwen took the split into two Gwen. Wanda took the split into two Wanda. Double? No, quadruple. I drop mum. So Yi took out the twelve charms of the Valentine's Day bracelet donation and looked at it again. I just found out now. It turns out that you are the artifact. So Yi put away the bracelet of twelve charms, then entered the elevator and went downstairs. At the same time, he decided that this bracelet must be given to Gwen as soon as possible. Then let him, New York's number one affectionate, come and try this bracelet. Right. After all, it is an equipment. Then definitely Su Yi has to come and try this equipment for himself, right? No other meaning. It's just a test. Dot. At the same time, inside the Avengers base, Captain America is having its last recent meeting, after talking about the first incident reported by citizens. Captain America took out the second video and documents for everyone to see. As you can see, a mecha that Tony calls a shapeshifting King Kong suddenly appeared in our world. Tony has guaranteed that he did not create it, and no one knows how many such shapeshifting King Kong there are, and what is its strongest combat power. So we have to add another task to the next task. That is to investigate whose it is? And its details. The team that disbanded after Captain America finished speaking. In the face of the suddenly appearing shapeshift in King Kong, some of the team bonded, some nodded, and some acted. But only Wanda and Natasha Romanoff are weird, because both of them are thinking, have I seen it somewhere? Natasha Romanoff observed the time when Su Yi and Wanda had afternoon tea. The car that Su Yi drove. It seems to be very similar to the car in the video. Very alike. But this is not something that can be done just by talking about it. Natasha Romanoff thought about it and had to go see it for herself. And Wanda is pretty much the same idea. But for her, it doesn't matter if it belongs to Su Yi or not. If yes, it is an unexpected surprise. Compared with Su Yi having this thing, Wanda is more at ease about Su Yi's usual safety situation. It's okay if you don't. Then nothing to do with Wanda. So at this moment, Wanda turned from an iceberg state to a state of high spirits and left the gate of the base. But before going out, Wanda discovers that it's raining in New York. And Wanda doesn't have a car, what should I do? Woo. At this time, Natasha Romanoff came to Wanda in an Audi R8 and said, Are you looking for Sue? I'll see you off. After looking at the R8 two-seater sports car, Wanda asked suspiciously, But you are two-seater. After arriving at Sue's place, where will Sue sit? Or will you send me there and go back by yourself? Natasha Romanoff. Then I go. Kidding. In the end Natasha Romanoff went for an Audi four-seater. And Wanda also went back to the room and changed clothes took two umbrellas and got in the car. Finally Natasha Romanoff kicked the gas. The two headed towards the north building. Dot. The screen returns to the north building. Su Yi got off the elevator and found out when he walked out the door. It's raining outside. Today, Su Yi doesn't like rain, because looking at the rainy day is not in a good mood. And it would be even worse if you had to go out that day. But at this time, an umbrella was propped beside Su Yi. He turned to look. It's Wanda. Ah. Uh, two Wanda. Few few. So Yi quickly discarded the picture in his mind just now. Then he said in a little surprise, Are you back? Are you injured? No. Wanda replied with a gentle smile. Then they walked to Su Yi's side, and the two held an umbrella and said, The task is very simple. The enemies are not as resistant to the mutated rat group. After the first wave, there will be no second wave. What Wanda said was very simple and gentle. But Natasha Romanoff, who was not far away, was a little scared when she recalled the scene where Wanda crushed two cars with her magic bare hands. At that time, a lot of blood flowed from the car seat and the crack of the door. That picture makes the current Avengers Alliance superheroes still a little scared. And Wanda turned around and explained, It's raining, Natasha Romanoff sent me here. So you looked across his line of sight. Oh, you're the two? Natasha Romanoff, what do you mean? Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.